Welcome everybody to Towers and Gods episode 52. We are here with the final round of battle gamble. Let us know if my audio is coming in okay. I think we're good, but welcome. Uh, if you're new to the streams, this is Towers and Gods. It's our own D&D uh, inspired uh, tabletop game based on the Tower of God world. You're more than welcome to stay and stick around and find out what we're all about, but we're happy to have you. Uh, as always, I'm joined by Isaiah as John, as always, and, and always will be. Isaiah as John. <laughs> What does that, that Isaiah? You mean? <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I like that. Just, just answer the question. You know, as my client, I advise you just answer the question as normal as possible. Yes, Your Honor, I am Kun Jong Se. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. We have Miliosis Brack. Hello, everyone. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Great start. Oh, game with the game. That's game. Big game with the year. Elden Ring. Woo, Big Elden Eddie. Ring. Let's go. Yes. Elden Ring. Game of the year. Uh, we have Sun Wu as Wu. Yeah, I'm gonna need y'all to stop sleeping on Wu. Okay, I'm gonna show you. I, I promise you, I'm gonna show you tonight, win or lose, that Wu is not that soft. I promise you. Ooh, let's see, I don't know about that. Uh, Jerry says. Uh, Pretty strong. Nice. But, uh, I wanted him to be my. No, I'm just kidding. I'm, just, I'm messing. I'm, I'm trying to feed the flames, you know? Uh, we have Hannah as Eden. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream. And last but certainly not least, we have Other Joe as Damien Frog. I'm gonna. Uh, uh, I don't know, actually. I'm sorry? I'm, I'm gonna win uh, or lose. I don't know. Let me say it right. You, you throw in the energy off, Joe. What happened? <laughs> yeah, were you uh, about to say something? Oh, you're right. Uh, uh, El Elden Ring is is very good game. That one. It's a pretty good game. Oh it's no, good this game. is a bad omen, dude. <laughs> this might be Joe's like, not worth like. One yeah. something. Something's off. Something's off. Uh, you nervous? Yeah. You nervous you okay. Up? No, I'm not nervous. He said five out of ten intro, Joe. You can do that. But you did. You did, <laughs> you did throw off my Voltor flip game, though. I oh have to say. Oh my god. Here we go. Oh, did you secrets out? Okay. Let me say it, bro. Uh, as always, I'm going to read some super chats here because y'all have been very generous. Uh, let me scroll down here. Oh my gosh, there's been a lot. Uh, Master Gold with the super chat saying, I have terrible news. December 31st, Pac-Man and the Ghost Adventures will be taken off Netflix. Very soon, the pack will no longer be back. The pack will no longer be back. I don't know what that means, oh. but... Uh, oh, no. Anybody who's worried about the, that being gone, uh, you have been warned. Uh, the Great Quack super chatted. You guys make my weekend. I appreciate the time you take to do this amazing series. We appreciate that. Thank you so much. Uh, we really appreciate you watching. It's it's really cool to see the support, so thank you. Uh, Mustafa says, keep up the amazing series. All the love to the cast and DM and also the wholesome community. Thank you, Mustafa. Uh, love seeing you active in the Discord always. Uh, Daigurin with the super chat. Fluxfalk gives me we are many, you are but one vibes. Ermac. Ooh, okay. Fascinating. We'll have to see what that's about. Fluck, okay. Fluxfalk is like a, she's a normal girl, all right, who just happens to be a little creepy sometimes. There. She's Debate not, has been Barbie settled. Girl Lies and blasphemy, world. but we'll go with it. Plastic. Who just nobody just happens to be creepy, bro. You're the creepier enough. <laughs> She's sure. nice once you get to know her. That's true. That is true. That is true. That's a man in love, um. folks. That's very true. That's very true. We have uh, Master Gold saying again, as a Sonic fan, it's my duty to inform you all that Sonic Prime will be streaming December 15 on Netflix. Make sure you watch Peak Fiction. Alrighty. Donut Man with the Super Chat. Flux versus Dahlia, Fight of the Night. Oof, that is quite the prediction. Uh, Hossein Bukhari Super Chatted. Thank you, Joe and the cast for the amazing work. Super excited for today's episode, especially Wu and Jerry's fight has me really hyped. Let's freaking go. We'll see how it goes. Thank you very much. Black Reaper with the very generous super chat. Thank you. Love the stream as always. Hopefully Victor and Davian get more comfortable with each other. Okay. Well, you know. Hell yeah, brother. Light, now that light you, you know what to do. Light, you know what to do. <laughs> Wait, what? What does that mean? Know. Nothing, I don't know nothing. What that means either. I just picture like the red dot appearing on somebody's forehead. Did someone get <laughs> <laughs> yes. You yes. know what to do. That, that is the equivalent, because light. Light, get that stuff out. Mm. Light. Mm. 
Light. Mm. You're asking Light, who is a Victor Damien shipper. I don't know if that's the right person to ask. Yeah. But anyway, Darn Angel. It was a great stream. I'll see y'all next time. Darn Angel with the super chat saying, ritual sacrifice for Discord. <laughs> I told guys, not a single crash last episode. It'll keep a, it'll be the same. Just trust me. We fixed the problem and uh, we're good. Uh, Master Gold, Sonic Frontiers was robbed of the Game Awards. All right, whatever you say. And then Dard Angel with the last super chat here. Don't want a normal girl anyways, lol. Okay, so there you go. The Fluxvolk fans have come out of the woodwork. They, they're not in the woodwork. It's, they're always, they've always been here. And, yeah, uh, bro, they yeah, got a building uh, rented. They've, they've been here they're since, not in like, the woodworks. Yeah, you're right, you're right. The, the cult has always existed. <laughs> <laughs> But thank you all so, so much. Really appreciate that. Lots of exciting stuff coming up and your super chats are going directly towards that. So stay tuned. It's going to be fun. With that said, let me give a quick little recap here as always. So last episode was our final sort of in-between uh, episode for Battle Gamble. You all got to cool off after your round two fights. Uh, we had a lot of conversations. A lot of interesting scenes happen. In particular, uh, Jong. Uh, with some development. Uh, Jong apparently uh, has a change of mindset as far as his desires go. We'll see how that plays out. Um, and uh, yeah, we had some scenes with Brack, Fluxvolk, all, all kinds of stuff happened. And uh, overall, leading up to round three fights, we have all the fights here. Let me pull this up. I actually will have to fix that, but it'll be really quick. Uh, I can pull it up right here. There we go. Okay. We have all the fights here for Battle Gamble round three. So we have Jong versus Boris, Wu versus Jerry's, Dami versus Fawn, Victor versus Nameless, Stexa versus Wright, Vlazer versus Mozzie, Huangso versus Smile, and then Dahlia versus Fluxvolk. We'll play out those fights over the episode. But with that said, let's begin. The crowd is going crazy. Uh, you notice that it's, it's, it's as packed as it's ever been, as loud as it's ever been. And in particular, you're noticing that many of the people who have come to watch this fight are now wearing like a lot of merchandise that you've never seen before. Merchandise that, uh, rep representing different teams, uh, primarily. Uh, teams, or people from teams. And you all have heard nothing about this. You didn't get any sort of, uh, you know, commission for any of this. Um, but the, the, there's a lot of, there's a lot of teams, there's some teams that are very underrepresented. Can uh, Brack interject real quick? Okay, Absolutely. cool. <laughs> so, Brack <laughs> looks out into the stands. Yep. He notices all the merchandise. He looks over at Taki. He looks at Stexa <laughs> to like see if they gonna acknowledge like what's going on. And uh, then he gonna go, <laughs> "Hey, robot, what the? <laughs> How the hell are y'all gonna market us like this?" Brack, 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 Brack is in the gambling uh, booth. Oh, unfortunately. Where's my money? <laughs> so, as you're saying this, uh, Saxa just says, oh, man, they never told us about that. Uh, what, what's going on there? But Taki just has a big smile. That's so cool. Oh, I, oh, I think that guy has my, that's me on that guy's shirt. Let's go. Loud and proud. And there's like two loud and proud shirts out of the whole crowd. It's like, they're, they're the most underrepresented team of the entire <laughs> attendance. Brack just gives Super Bunny a side eye and he's just, he's just upset. Just so upset right now. His day has been ruined. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Stexa looks over at you. Brack, it's, Brack, it's not that big a deal. I mean, maybe, you know, we can, she's, you can tell she's trying to like make you less. Stex, <laughs> Stex. To... count yeah. the shirt, Stex. Count, 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 count uh, the count, countless count faces that you could see of Sir Wu over there with the monkey business shirt. With, 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 with Jung over there with the lightning spark shirt. And Victor, our boy, our mascot for the syndicate, him over there <laughs> with the two ladies on his arms, like the playboy he is. <laughs> All of this money that didn't go to us. <laughs> we were robbed. And then we got the flame. No, leader would kill me. But she's on fire t-shirts of our leader. She's on fire. 
But okay, but if you look on the bright side, isn't this good for exposure? Exposure don't mean money. I want the money. Uh, you can tell that of all the... Oh, give me one second here. Of all the people who are currently in the gambling booth, Seal Young is the most surprised. Are they really? Wait, are they wearing Team Blessing shirts as well? And you look Looks out and you can definitely see a lot of nameless merchandise. Yeah, that's exactly what I was going to say, too. Yeah. <laughs> uh, looks like they're wearing Lim Lim shirts. Uh, I guess it's because of that match that he fought in. But don't don't worry about it, Lord Leaf. You, you, you're the real winner here. Like, Leaf? don't think I forgot. I'm sorry? Oh, no. I appreciate that. But I'm just simply surprised we have fans. It's a new feeling. Yes. Um, how are the people outside the gambling room reacting to this? Give me just a little bit of time here. Brack's gotta be yeah. Brack's gotta be freaking about a, freaking out about the money, I'm sure. I can think of no other thing that he is thinking about right now. You see Mizaru with a little mini calculator in his hand, like tallying up numbers. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. Any response from Eden? Eden, you do see a couple people wearing Eden shirts. She just puts her hood up and kind of slinks back at her seat. Just like, okay, mm, okay. nope, nope, not today. Fair enough. I didn't need enough. this on my plate today. Nope. <laughs> okay. Now, despite all this, surprisingly, but maybe not so surprisingly, the, the number one person, the number one shirt that is clearly dominant and, and it's a face that's plastered on the front looking cute as can be, Easily fawn Von Sycamore. Uh, interestingly enough, 99% men wearing these shirts, um, but you do make note of that. And uh, all of them, go fun, go fun, our fun, our fun. And you're just like, okay. <laughs> bro, they had those shirts long before this fight. Don't even try it, bro. They were just waiting to bust them out. I was about to say they had them on the print. Don't the even try it, cool. bro. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, yeah, they're, they're coming out in droves, apparently, uh, the Fawn Von Sycamore supporters. Damien, any reaction to this from you? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that's natural. <laughs> You're like, oh yeah, to be expected. Of course she has fans. Mm hmm yep. Fair enough, fair enough. See, I'm not afraid of the fans. I'm more afraid of the, the Naginata that she has <laughs> that will cut me in half. Uh, before long, Oreo, oh, uh, give me a sec here, um, before long, there we go. So, before long, uh, everyone's favorite robot, uh, representative of the workshop battle flies into the field on top of his little, uh, floating board. Greetings, everyone, and welcome to the workshop battle! Round three of Battle Gamble is about to begin, and we have some exciting matches planned for all of you, but first... An announcement. A very special announcement because, just like round one, we held a vote to determine everyone's favorite fights from round two of the workshop battle, of Battle Gamble in particular, and the votes are in. And he pulls up like a little, a little screen that kind of, you know, a little hologram. The fourth and fifth favorite fights are actually tied. Eden versus Dahlia and Damien versus Astrid are the fourth and fifth favorite fights of round two. Everyone starts clapping and Eden, the, the people who are wearing Eden shirts, which is a small minority, uh, they start cheering your name uh, as the announcement takes place. She really wants to slide under the bench and just disappear. I, Victory. I, I'm like, she <laughs> doesn't, she doesn't, but she's just yeah, like, yeah, God yeah. damn it. <laughs> sure, sure. Victor just kind of puts a hand on your shoulder. I'm like, it's okay, it's okay. No, it's not. I mean, yeah, okay. He, he takes his hand back off. The third favorite fight, Boris versus Nameless. And the crowd goes wild. Uh, Victor says, I'm surprised that wasn't number one. The second favorite fight, Jong versus Elias the Coon Showdown. That also gets the crowd hyped and then Oreo continues. Oh, we all love the drama, don't we folks? And you have a big old 
electronic grin that appears on his monitor. And finally, the favorite fight of the workshop battle is Blazer versus Dungoon! And there is just a roar from the crowd. And as if he anticipated this response, Blazer stands up, takes off his hat, and bows as the camera pans to him. <laughs> Who is this guy, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, is this the mayor of Roku Village? Yeah. Yeah, I got him right here. Yeah. Send your, send your toughest goons. Don't you dare, bro. Don't you dare, bro. Don't you dare. <laughs> All right, for, okay, really, metagaming. Those who say I'm trolling, uh, this was based on a real vote that took place in our Discord server. Based upon, and, and that is the that is the real fan response. I had nothing to do with this. Okay. Well, with that being said, I believe there's no better fight to start with than perhaps one of our most anticipated, being Blazer versus Mozzie. Now, now you trolled. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> lose. Let's see if he walks away with that date, though. Now, now this is a bit surprising for Blazer. He's, he was just about to sit down, but he stops. Oh, his little grin, a little smirk, he flips a coin into the air, catches it, and then uh, starts walking onto the stage. Before he goes, uh, a couple of his teammates give wish him luck, uh, particularly Vixen, who uh, whispers some strategy to him, but he doesn't seem to be paying too much attention. His eyes are on Mozzie, who has just now walked onto the field opposite him, and he, uh, he heads onto the stage. A little platform taking him there. Now, Mozzie has her rifle, uh, you know, she's she's kind of examining it, making sure everything's good. She has a, a lit cigarette in her mouth, and, uh, Blazer's just looking at her. Where'd you learn to shoot? And she's just continuing to, uh, make sure her gun is in order. Ah, the quiet type, I see. No matter. Perhaps I'll impress you in our fight. You have heard of the Reaper, I assume. And you can tell his voice is like a little lower than it normally is. No response from Mozzie. Uh, Leaf is, is sitting next to you, Eden, alongside uh, Victor. And she says, I'm pretty sure Blazer's gonna get destroyed. Well, considering he's pulled out quite a few trump cards this entire battle, who knows? Do you really think. And <laughs> she kind of has a look of horror. He's not going to make it past round three, is he? Woo, is he going to make it past round three? He's dead. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's, that's, yeah. And Victor says, I don't know. He's He has surprised us twice, like Eden says, so we'll see. He's got a lot of help. Uh, notably, Cal is still no longer with the team. Boris is silent. Bulwark is silent. Monica is silent. The only one that's there cheering is Vixen, uh, cheering for Blazer, and then inside the gambling booth, Stexa, uh, you know, you got this, Blazer! Through the through the screen. The other gamblers are currently writing down their votes for who will win. Let me check this here. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me, let me vote real quick. Yep, no worries. Put it here. Take your time. Um. I also, Joe, above the table, I needed mm -hmm. to be confirmed that the two people that were wearing the Loud and Proud shirts were, in fact, two members of Team Loud and Proud. <laughs> <laughs> that to be right. <laughs> I mean, one, yeah. One of them, Walter. Walter, who was eliminated during the pre- Long so is okay, not. Okay, okay. Walter and Walter's so best friend. Who else could it be? It. It's <laughs> Walter and be? Walter's boy. It's Walter and his boy. I got you. Oh, okay, okay. There's okay. Walter, Walter, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> so I'm saying Long is not putting that shit on. Okay. <laughs> No, 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 no. Huangso does not have that on. For sure. Okay. The bets have been placed. Our gamblers have decided. Oh, let me pull this up here. Slightly different layout because of Discord. Perfect. All right. Let the battle begin in three, two, one. The two of them 
standing off from each other. Neither of them making a move. It's almost like a, you know, you can almost hear the tumbleweed rolling across the, the stage as they stand there. Blazer's hand hovering over his gun. Mozzie's rifle over her shoulder. Watching each other. Neither of them making a move. Before suddenly, <laughs> Mozzie brings out her rifle, <laughs> fires three shots immediately at Blazer, who then <laughs> brings out his pistol, fires three shots, and now that you under saw his previous fight, you see the his three bullets flying towards her three bullets, <laughs> deflecting all three of them. As Blazer then <laughs> brings out his spear and charges in towards Mozzie. Mozzie seems a little bit surprised by this. She she continues to fire shots at Blazer. He dodges a couple of them, and he's trying to gain distance closer to Mozzie. But the second he sweeps in with his spear, she jumps over it, and instead of using any kind of melee weapon, she just hits him in the head with her own gun. You know? <laughs> he kind of falls to the ground. <laughs> Back's a punch, huh? And then as he says that, she hits him again in the face, and his nose starts bleeding. Blazer, stick with the gun, says, uh, says, uh, Vixen. So Blazer backs away, pulls out his gun again. Hey, taking anyone to the dance? Because the Reaper doesn't have a date yet. I figured this might be the right time to, and then she doof, 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 fires three shots at him. Doof, doof, doof. He's firing, firing, firing. And there's a couple of moments where he fires an additional shot after blocking her shots, which flies towards Mozzie, but she's able to deflect it with her own gun, blocking the shot. Leaves a little bit of an indent in her gun. The fight goes back and forth, back and forth. A couple minutes later, before Vlazer flips a coin into the air, you're done. <laughs> Fires the coin, the bullet, towards the coin, and it completely misses. It fires out of the arena. He looks at his gun, Oh, I guess I... And he looks a little bit surprised. Brack, in the gambling booth, Stexa's head is just in her hands. Well, what's the matter, Stex? He only has so many of those bullets, they're really hard to make. Monica has spent all week producing them, making sure he could pass, and he just wasted them all. He really did, didn't he? He did it all on that... That that spinning top boy, didn't he? He had mm. he had a couple rounds for this fight, but he wasted them in delaying it. He just so, fired uh, a regular bullet there. He... Uh, also, no auto aim. She shakes her head. Hmm. Time for us for you to show us your real call call of tower, Blazer. Blazer just looks at his gun. <laughs> <laughs> he starts laughing. He tw he uh, kind of, you know, uh, turns his hat. If you all assumed I needed that to win, you were sorely mistaken. Chat, he rolled a natural 20. Oh, no. Yep. So, no. um, yep. I rolled. Okay, 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 okay. <clears throat> I want to make it absolutely clear. I rolled a die and it hit the gr it hit the table. Um, give me a moment. I'm going to see if I can just move this camera here. All right. Me money. I'm not sure if y'all can see that there. Oh, oh. We see it, boy. Um, okay, okay. Does everyone see that? Yeah, natural twenty. Uh, yeah. I've lost all that's, faith that's my in luck. humanity. That's my luck. It's, it's just, it just is what it is. And with that, a new age of the tower begins. <laughs> I literally can't believe the this, The age dude. of the reaper. I... Let him know, Joe. Let him know. I... Just let him know. I... Just let him know. Um... Mozzie was holding up her rifle, but before she could fire her shot, he fires a bullet towards her. She realizes that it's coming towards her. She tries to block, but right as she moves, it's as if the bullet was heading where she was moving anyway. Hits her in the forehead. 
She starts stumbling backwards. And as she steadies herself, he swoops in with the spear. <laughs> hits her again. I can't believe I'm saying this. She falls off the stage. Into the water. I don't want that no more. <laughs> I think I think Vlaze is gonna shatter the Elden Ring. <laughs> Absolute fucking Chad. Oh my god, yo! Every time against Blaze, a legend, bro. A legend. Y'all stay Dude, out in know. the Reaper, bro. That was not supposed to happen. Oh my god. But it was, oh. Joe. But it was. That's what you have to understand. It was. Fate you willed it so. I want this man to win, like. No, I. Th yeah, fate. It's fate. Fate has spoken. The winner is No Cheetah Blazer! No Cheetah is his name? <laughs> he didn't know the man's name, he still has! That's his name! <laughs> We've known that's that since his... the second floor. I would say that's from the second floor. <laughs> yeah, that's not new news. <laughs> I give, him, I give Laser a polite golf clap. Oh my god. You said that like his name was Eugene, bro. You were like his name. Bro, if this is if this is what we gotta do, maybe I should join ice here, bro. Fuck this. Oh. <laughs> this is what makes you join ice here. If this is what's going on out here, maybe I should join ice here. Yeah. <laughs> oh bro. Beautiful. Fucking beautiful. The crowd goes wild, except for the teams who are watching, who are just in shock. Leaf is just straight-faced watching. She looks like she has lost all emotion in her face. This is it, huh? This is where it all ends. Blazer won the third round against Mozzie. Yep. The world will forever oh, change. She, she looks shattered. You see, you see, Wu like deleting the save data for the f video footage that's on his pocket. Now. <laughs> <laughs> delete that. Delete, delete, delete. <laughs> but Victor's clapping. Hey, he put on a good show. Hey, the guy can shoot. Got to show some respect, you know? Right, right. He looks over at you, Eden. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Kind of like sideways glances at him, just doesn't say a word. <laughs> Understandable. Blazer <laughs> uh, hops off the platform down into the water uh, where Mozzie's getting up. So, about that date. And she says, I'm going with somebody else. There we go. Dame Dane! Dame yo! Dame no no yo! Anata ga sugire! Sugi sugire! He just slowly walks backward. Oh, that's cool. Okay, you know what, Blazer? We don't even need her. We don't even need her. It's fine. It's fine. He just says, that's cool? Yeah. Understandable. The Reaper. Um. Is going with somebody else anyway. No, no, exit stage left. Exit stage left. You're and, good. You're good. No, 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 no. You're going with somebody else. That's great. I hope you guys have fun. Shut up. Um, shut up. Shut up. Don't stop talking. I, it might be somebody I know. Yeah, hey, uh, you know, maybe who? Oh uh, eh, it's it's the rabbit guy. What? Whoa! Exit. Whoa! Shit. Taki blushes in the gambling room. <laughs> kind of scratches the back of his head. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Oh! Oh! <laughs> Son is glasses off. Son's he's done. leaving. Yeah, he's... His neighbors are gonna come knocking soon again. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I see <ya>! <laughs> 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 Joe, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I, it just, it sounded like what you said was, it's been, uh, it's been a and, pleasure, bro. It's been a pleasure. 
it, it just it sounded like you said <laughs> hockey was the one taking and i just i just want you just to repeat it for you know the audience just so everybody is on the same page no nah, nah, we heard right blazer right. says the the, the rabbit guy yeah she says Bro, yeah he asked me i thought it'd be fun hey yo itzy i'm gonna meet you at the bar in like two all right but we out <laughs> I think so on you. I appreciate everything you did for us, brother. Yeah, we you gone. know what? Towers of God, it was we, great. We, we it was, it was, cool. it was a real it was a real one. A real one. <laughs> Inside the gambling room, Stexa the shocked expression she had when Blazer won has not changed. It's still just a shocked expression. So Young just says. Oh, uh, you're going on a date, Taki. Uh, congratulations. Uh, thanks, man. Yeah, I plucked up the courage. You know how it is. <laughs> I just leans over to Taki. He goes, you saved my bacon just now. I may have lost some points, but I won the war. I won the war, Taki. You and then he the just, don't, don't even worry about it. Just, just pound it. Just pound it. Just, you know, oh. uh, uh. Uh, there you go. Blazer <laughs> <laughs> uh, stares at her for a little while and then just slowly walks over to the platform, carries him back up, and he slowly walks over, sits down. Some people in the crowd who were just a moment ago cheering for him are now like laughing at him. He sits down. Hey, you did great, says Vixen. You won the match. That's so amazing. Congratulations. No. I didn't win the match, he whispers. I didn't win the real match. The match of the heart. He just clutches his chest, closes his eyes. It's time for round two of Battle Gamble. Round two of round three of Battle Gamble. <laughs> this has been an exciting first round, everybody. An exciting first battle, but we're moving on to the second battle of the night. As far as gamblers go, uh, we'll talk, I'll, I'll update you on that soon. <clears throat> it is time we hop into our second match of the night. But it appears that our first finalist is Blazer from Team Stexa. Congratulations. Our second fight of the night is sure to be a fun one. We have a member of Team Recall who is fighting next. It is time for Damien versus Fawn Von Sycamore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, why are you boy. laughing? He's crying. I am. I am. It's a little bit of both. <laughs> it's a I have bit a. Of both. Okay. She's your I have, date, right? It, sure, she sure is. It's kind of hard here. You gotta make sure she can still dance, you know? But don't hold back. Absolutely. Also, make sure you hold back just enough so that she's not. You know. I mean, I'm in it to win it. That is my number one goal here. Okay. As long as you come out on top. Okay. Before you go, Victor stops you. Hey, man. Puts a number on your shoulder. You got this. All right. You keep underestimating I... yourself, but you shouldn't. Like I told you earlier, you're strong, man. I think you'll take I... it by surprise. I think I do. You gave me everything I need to win this fight. It's a matter of now if I can pull it off or not. Just so you know, we all believe in you, and I'm very confident that Brack is also believing in you. Let me go check, let me go check and see what the bet was. Okay, um, <clears throat> I'm very confident that uh, Brack thinks the same. <laughs> Are you saying that as yourself, Victor, or as the new... <laughs> Master of Whispers. I believe in the Syndicate. I, I know Rack made the right choice. Damien, don't listen to him. You, you, he, he has no idea what he's talking about. <laughs> well, Victor gave me one crucial thing that might help me win this match. But we'll see if I need to use it. Okay. Uh, Leaf wishes you luck. Tells you you're going to do great. Eden, do you say anything? Or John? 
Um, yes, before Damien goes out, Zhang just grabs a hold of Damien's arm and he looks him right in the eye. Just be careful, okay? Don't worry, deer girls are my speciality. Oh my god. And then Zhang just lets go of his arm. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate your concern for me, buddy. <sighs> you saw what happened. No. All right. <clears throat> uh, you head out there, and uh, Fawn gets up in the gambling booth. Oh, um, I guess it's my turn already. Uh, I'll be back soon, everyone. Uh, uh, do. Uh, do. Mm -hmm. Uh, My name is Fawn Von Sycamore. Okay, Fawny. <laughs> Please, just... 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 Just take it easy with the frog. He... Oh, is he sick? Uh, he got a case of the ribbits, but... Oh, no. Just... Just take it easy on him. Okay, I, I... I definitely will. I didn't know that. Um... Just... Just end it quick. <laughs> what wait, the heck? Wait, 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 so, we all, so we all know we who just been like, on, dude. We, we just been like 10 minutes sure gassing Damien up, and he's like, yo, yo, just make it quick. Just end it. You quick. really <laughs> bet against him, bro? Are you serious? Is this like penance for like him not like, following your orders? Bro, what else did you expect him to do? <laughs> it's like, what? Dude, the syndicate is in shambles, bro. The syndicate is in shambles. It's not what it used to be, man. It's not My what it used gosh. to be. Oh, my gosh. Like, man. just put him down quick. It'll be great. He said he got the uh, rivets. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, she, she heads out of the room. <clears throat> and uh, in particular, Maggie is now very excited. She, she quickly wrote down her bet and just leans forward, her eyes gleaming. Um, but uh, on the contrary, Vaughn has barely made a sound throughout the, all of these uh, bets. You kind of forgot he was even there, off, off in his own little corner. Can, 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 is it possible to like write something on paper and put it on the window real quick? Yeah, uh, I would say that uh, like you're, you're primarily writing on a tablet, but there's paper too. Okay, let me, let me, Brack just gets out a froggy marker from his inventory. He scribbles down on the paper, puts it on the glass, and he just knocks until Damien notices it. I'm gonna, okay, roll strength and Damien roll perception. <laughs> I gotta get used to this. Uh, this. 13. All right. Hopefully we don't break the glass. Break uh, the glass. There we go. 14, is that right? Yeah, 14. So a 13 perception from Damien and a 14 strength from Brack. You're pounding on the window, but I'm gonna say, Damien, even if you looked up there for a moment, Damien, you would not have noticed the paper. All of these cheers for Fawn have me distracted. Okay, okay. Frog, frog look up, frog look up, frog look up! He's not Are looking up. Are you asking him to lose the fight on purpose? You can't see. How, how do you know what I did when you can't see? I I know you, Brack. We've, we've spent a lot of time together. I, I know you enough to know that this is probably what you were trying to do. Brack sits in the chair and pouts. <laughs> <laughs> All right, perfect. So Damien. Fawn is standing across from you. You all also have noticed that the two pillars that were in the arena have been removed, so it's back to being a flat arena once again, like the first round. Hmm. All right, all right. And she's uh, staring over at you. Um, I'm really sorry. Huh? Oh no, don't be. No. I, I hope this doesn't. I really didn't know. I'll try to take it easy on you. My condition? Mm-hmm. How How do you know about that? Oh, um, never mind. Maybe he'd rather I not say. Man, how does she know that I'm actually just super sad all the time? I don't get it. Oh, oh my god. Did Brack tell him? Tell her that? Regardless, I promise I'll end this quickly, okay? Hmm? <laughs> well, I promise I won't end this quickly. You want to torture but... me? What? No, 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 no. I just, you know, oh, I mean, okay. well, 
I mean, since we're talking right now, it doesn't seem like you like fighting very much. Why join a workshop battle? Hmm? I love fighting very much. It's one of my favorite things to do. Really? Mm -hmm. And why is it one of your favorite things to do? And she looks down. Because it was the only thing my brother ever taught me. But what I don't like about it is how it hurts people, always. I see. So I, I'll try to make it not hurt as much for you, okay? Well, I wouldn't worry about that too much. Fighting for me lets me keep my mind off of all the other stuff in my life. So, I hope it's a good fight. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Voice crack. <clears throat> she just uh, gives a little nod. And I hope you won't hold it against me if I do my best. You are Fawn Von Sycamore. She just looks at you as you say that. It is time for the round to begin! And the crowd is just, Fawn, 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 Fawn! And some people cheering like, take me to the dance instead! The round shall begin in three, two, one. All right, roll initiative. The end has come, and it will be beautiful. All right, check this. All right, not a bad roll. In this fight, I do want to act first. Okay, okay, let me hold this up so people can see the rolls. She got a 15, and you have a 17, so you go first. Haha! -ha! Thank you, random citizen who gave me the strength. <laughs> all right, Joe. The first thing I want to do, all right, and this is a really sneaky play, all right? Uh -huh. Now, here's what we're doing, all right? We're throwing flashbang. Throwing flash? So, the thing you purchased uh, yes. at the shop. All right. That's the first thing we're doing. Perfect. All right. Now, your DC, what's your normal? So, like, if someone is to make a, uh, a saving throw against you, I believe it would normally be a certain number. But since this is an item, I'm just going to have you roll, uh, make a dexterity uh, check. Just like just a regular check. dex check. A dexterity check. Just okay. like rolling your dex, yeah. Okay, that's a 12. A 12? Alrighty, where are you aiming this? Uh, I'm aiming this right, uh, right, basically like maybe right in front of Fawn on Sigur. Right in front of Fawn. Okay, perfect. You throw the bang. She's gonna go ahead and make a saving throw here. Okay, you throw it, and there's a blinding light. You're, re you're reminded of Glorfin a little bit. People who are watching, it's not as strong as Glorfin's weapon, uh, the blind. But she still, <gasps> and she covers her eyes with a little, ye a little yelp. Now here's the sneaky thing, Joe. All right. While this is happening, I would like to place the two landmines that I purchased. Oh shoot! All right, all right. Where are you placing them? Um, I'm placing I'm I'm placing them in the exact same spot, right here. All right. Both of them right there. Mm-hmm. All right. I'm gonna say that you're placing them in the same area. That was your action and bonus action. I'll say. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Can I can I also <laughs> just uh -huh. like. All right, as, as my own little thing, all right, uh -huh. I take off my coat, I throw it over the landmine. Okay. This is an, all right, I mean, I know that's asking a lot. No, but... no, that's fine. I, I think that's fine. The, the flashbang bought you some extra time. That's that's perfectly fine. So the coat is now over the two mines that you placed. Yes, correct. Sure, okay. That seems fine by me. And you said it was right here, correct? Yeah, it was. It was like right here. Okay. Exactly northeast of me. Perfect. Uh, I don't know if there. There should probably be like some sort of indicator, but I don't have a thing for it. Nope, that's fine. I'll, I'll add something in a bit when I find a good representation for it. <clears throat> Is that your turn? Are you gonna move at all? Uh huh. Uh, no, I'll, I'll say that's my turn. Perfect. So you do this really quickly. The crowd kind of gasps. Some of them cover their eyes, and as soon as it disappears. She says, I'm sorry, and a giant orb appears above her head. This pure white Shinsu that's wrapped around this giant ball. And then a wave of Shinsu heads towards you. I need you to make an intelligence saving throw. All right. 
Oh, it was a 19 for a second. That's a three. I fail. Whoops. That is a three. Okay. Perfect. Make another one for me. And that's a four. A four? <laughs> All right. The waves of Shinsu just start ramming into you and pushing you back. You get pushed back five feet. I'll push you back there. And you take nine damage from the Shinsu ramming into you, the waves. Oh, that's smart. Oh. And the orb is still floating above her head, and she is drawing her Shinsu directly from it. Uh, she is not moving. Your turn. She, this, the Shinsu is, like, gathering around her. All right. We're, doing, we're going with uh, step two, then of my plan <laughs> um i'm i'm jumping in and i'm gonna cast my signature killer whale style living bomb casting living bomb all righty what do i have to do make an intelligent saving throw intelligent Ooh. you didn't say more my friend uh, okay I'm trying to move my token 24 from her, so that is a that success. Does, that does indeed pass. All right, she still inflicts, she still takes something though, right? Yeah, that's right, so. Um, I, I can't move myself right now. Oh, sorry, I can fix that. That is entirely my bad. Uh, there you go. All right, you're good. Okay, cool, so I move right there. And that should be enough, just enough for Living Bomb. Okay. Excellent. So what happens to her? What does she take? Oops. Sorry, I'm just getting this movement correct. Sure. Half damage, <laughs> right? Uh, yeah, that is, that is correct. So a d10 plus um, wisdom. D10 plus wisdom. All right. So that would be 10, so five damage. Five damage, all righty. You can tell that she was able to recognize your technique. Uh, you're a bit surprised that she's able to do so. And she kind of <clears throat> grunts a little bit as there's like a, you can tell there's a minor explosion of her Shinsu, but overall she appears unfazed. It is your move. Perfect. So she kind of looks at you, you're about 20 feet away. Uh, That's right. She just puts her hands together, almost like she's praying. Orb, radiant wave. Make another intelligence save. Thirteen. Thirteen. You fail, my friend. Oh shit! I, I rolled twice. That's okay. So if, if it's attacking twice, I fail again. Uh, nope, it's just once this time. Okay. Okay, uh, you take five damage as another wave of Shinsu starts running into you. Uh, your Shinsu resistance is preventing most of the damage from, from being dealt. Uh, but you can also tell she's holding back a little bit. <laughs> All and right. uh, the orb still remains above her head, gathering more and more Shinsu. Your turn. All right. Well, we'll go for another living bomb then. Another living bomb. So she has to make another save. That's an 18 from her. Uh, that sorry. passes. Okay, okay. Roll a damage. One. So, two or three. What, what is the total with your wisdom? It is, oh, it's six. So, so three, okay, okay. Three. Perfect. So once again, she kind of just gives a little grunt, a little yelp, but she literally looks exactly the same. Uh, all right, that's that's enough. And I'm 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 using my movement to go right in front of her. Right in front of her. All right. So you close the distance. Go ahead and move your token. <clears throat> she kind of her eyes widen as you get close. Are you sure about this? And she summons her inventory, starts whipping around her naginata, and goes in for an attack. Please. Of course I'm sure. That is a 10 for the first attack. That misses. Perfect. When she does this, the orb is still above her head, and there's still Shinsu gathering. Your turn. All right. I uh, split the scissors. 
and I attack twice. Go for it. 26, that's a crit. Okay. That's a natural 20. Go ahead for the second attack. I'm I'm gonna roll the attack first. Okay, 12. That does not hit. All right. Uh, wait, is that correct? Oh yeah, it is, it is. So I, I just deal six damage. Six, six damage with the crit, okay. Describe it for me. Is that right? Yeah, okay, so I swing once, I hit, and I don't, uh, but I miss my second swing. You miss your second swing? Okay, that's fine. A little bit of blood as she blocks the attack, but her Shinsu is pretty strong. She's able to resist correct? much of the damage. It's, it's like roll, a so it rolled a d4, right? So and I got a, a two and a one. You crit rolled was the two. You. I thought I calculated the crit normally. So no, that it's... looks like a base roll. So you rolled you rolled one d4, yeah. and it rolled a two. So Wait. you technically got four. That's your doubled plus three. So technically, right. you would have dealt seven. I'm not sure why it's adding one as well though. Oh. It's rolling two d4s. The first one was a d4, and the second one is an additional d4. I'm not sure why that happened. Yeah, I don't know. So, either. so you rolled a two, uh, so that's four plus three. So okay. Se- seven okay, damage. Okay. okay, and then plus one, or so is it plus one? Eight damage. It should be just seven. It should okay, just okay. be what you rolled, double that, and then add whatever you used as your modifier to attack her in the first place. Yeah, Which I okay. Think is okay. Dex, I think. So. That's fine. I, I was like, that seemed really low for a crit. Yeah, you rolled a two. Uh, but yeah, I guess that's it fine. Is a D, it's a D4. So. It's a D4, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, perfect. Do you do anything else? No, hmm? uh, that's my turn. Okay. It is now her turn once again. By this point, the orb disappears. And instead, it, she just holds the Naginata behind her, preparing to attack you. Yoshitsune's guidance. Moonfall! And she jumps into the air and is going to strike you uh, with her Naginata. I need you to make a deck save. One deck save. Mm-hmm. That's a seven. Okay. She is moving very, very quickly. That is gonna be 12 damage as she jumps up into the air and then almost like a victor strike, but a completely different stance. She strikes you three times, but the three attacks are almost one attack. But you, you, it's weird. In your mind, you feel it pierce your skin three times. But visually, it just looks like one attack. She strikes you and then lands back down onto the ground. Hmm. I see. The classic Sephiroth Octo Slash, I see. Hmm. All right. It is my turn. It's time to use one of my trump cards. Mm-hmm. I, uh, all right. Um, am I am I able to use a potion as a bonus action or? Yes. All right. So first, I'm using lighthouse reinforcement. Go for it. Oh, uh, it says rolling dice. Uh, that's plus three, plus three, so that pa- that's 14, that passes. Perfect. For one. All right, that passes as well. All right. Oh, whoops, that's that's a D10, that's a D10. Whoops, 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 whoops. You won't count that one. All right, and that one fails. Okay, two successes. Let's see how much uh, temp HP you get. All right, plus five. Oh my God. Plus five, plus uh, plus nine. So nine temporary hit points. Yeah. The barrier kind of coats your body. As a bonus action, I'm going to drink a potion that I was given by my good friend Kesaki Wu. All right, all right. This happened before the episode. Perfect. Go ahead and roll. It is one d8 of healing. Sure is. What's the one? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. One. Let's go. <laughs> 
So you drink the potion. There's no side effects from this particular Bartimus potion. We'll give you a good one. It doesn't yeah, heal you good, much. I'm sure it is a good one. It doesn't heal you much. Overall. Oh, whoops. Oh, shoot. Okay, okay, there we go. This is, this is, uh, I swear I do a little bit better than this one, I swear. But you're sick, aren't you? You have the, I, you, you have the ribbit, the ribbits. It, yeah, I, I'm sick, but not, you know, in, in, in a way that affects my head, you see. It's your turn. <laughs> okay. Oh, well, you've done a bit of damage to me. She closes her eyes. Just a quick interjection. You only did a bonus action, right? Oh, now? no, no, no. He uses action to do the lighthouse reinforcement. Oh, fair, well. fair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay. So on her turn, she pauses, and she starts murmuring under her breath, Archangel, guide me. And she just appears much more relaxed overall. There's like an aura of relaxation about her. Uh, she gained a couple of uh, Shinsu points back, and then she whips out her Naginata again. It appears that she uh, is going in for another attack, but that is an 11. I don't believe that hits. That does not hit. Perfect. Your turn. I look up at the stands for a moment. Who are you looking at in particular? I'm looking at Fluxfolk. Fluxfolk is there. She is with her team, and she is just looking at you expressionless, straight-faced. Almost like with her head held high, looking at you. I clench. I clench my right arm as hard as I can. And I use my fate ability. Okay. Okay, you're, you're using your fate ability. So you feel this cold seep up your arm and this pain that's rippling and slowly there's like this crunching sound is like these scales start popping out of your hand as it starts getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And claws oh, start- Fathers bear witness. <laughs> and before long, you just have this giant lizard arm that you're kind of struggling to hold up with all the, with the weight of it, but you are. Perfect. Joe, I believe I've lost the section where my fate ability is. You know, I was just uh, heading there. Give me a moment. I know right where it is in our Discord chat. That's kind of I know that. Normally it's right there. Give me a moment. In the booth, Brock yeah. is just pressed against the glass because he actually wants Damien to win. But at the same time, the money, but <laughs> he's like, forget the money. Win frog, win. Okay, nice. I just pinned it, Joe. Uh, you can see our, you can see where I pinned it in our private chat. Okay, okay, okay. One d six plus con temporary hit points. That's right. Go ahead and make that roll. All right. It's time. It's oh. time to return to. Actually, this is a good excuse to use this this uh, on Discord. Hmm. Use one Discord. I have a little effect whenever you use fate powers, but I totally forgot because it's been so long. Okay. 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 Roll? I rolled a three, so I get plus six temporary HP. Six, perfect. Alrighty, and then let me go here. Okay, that was technically a bonus action. You were allowed to go again. Ah, ooh. All right, I'm going. I'm going in. I'm going in for the grapple. All right. Okay. Also, I apologize, people. I know that was loud. I'll, I'll fix that. Uh, you're going for the grapple. All right. You're gonna make an athletics check for me, and she can roll either athletics or acrobatics. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. You say. All right. All right. That is a 20 for her. Not a nat 20, a dirty 20. 
Which means so she you do succeed. Oh, I do. You do oh. succeed. You got one above her. So you move forward, this giant arm, you know, just kind of, you're struggling to maintain it. But with this, she has a look of pure shock. Pure shock? How are you, how are you grappling her? Uh, I, I grab her with my transformed arm. And I'm going to slam her into the ground. Okay, okay. I'm gonna say... Okay, I'm gonna have you expend a TP to do this. Go ahead and roll a d6 plus strength. Okay. Uh, six plus three. Ooh, okay, yeah, I roll, perfect. That's nine, okay. Perfect. You want me to win, Joe? Oh my god. I, I didn't do anything, you know? I'm just, you're doing it. Okay, so you slam her into the ground and your arm is like wrapped around her, like your hand. Now, Joe, I do have my scissors in my other hand. Oh, but I, had, I used this as a bonus action. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right, you're okay. right. Okay. But I see what you're going for, okay. He is grappled, he is slammed to the ground. If I had a dragon arm, this is when I would use it, but I don't. It is now your move, Fawn. All right. Inside the gambling booth, uh, Jan Vaughn has a look of shock on his face. Since when could he... He looks over at you, Brack. What is this? Oh, this is just a lesson, you know, for you and your demonic sister. Don't mess with the frog. He's a real monster. All right. <laughs> and Fawn is kind of exhaling, almost like, it sounds as if she's afraid. While she's grappled, though, orb! She's gonna shout orb. And then a giant orb appears above both of you. Can I raise my hand up in the air and use a lighthouse barrier to stop it? Give me a moment. My other hand, I mean, my normal hand. You're not gonna be able to use as many lighthouses. I'm gonna say you can roll like uh, only one lighthouse because you only have one hand. Um, so you can try mm. to roll a lighthouse. The orb uh, starts okay. shining. Actually, no. And the I, rays, yeah, no, I won't. You won't? Okay, the rays are falling upon both of you. So she's getting hit too then. But it's a calming, a calming ray that seems to, that seems to make everything better, make everything seem okay. She gains some temp, temp hit points. By doing so, and the orb remains floating above your head. Your turn. Hmm. <laughs> I have a simply devilish idea, but it is also a very rude thing to do to my date. All right. So the orb is above my head, right? It doesn't heal me, though, right? Yeah, it's like floating a good like twenty feet in the air, maybe more, thirty feet. It does it's not healing. Heal it's healing her, but it heal. It's healing her, but it it won't heal me. Right. Obviously. All right, Joe. This is what we've been waiting for. What's your plan? All right. Damian? I clutch tight. All right. This is called, this is baseball strat two. All right. <laughs> this is this is baseball strat number two. All right. Okay. She is as I'm as Fawn is slammed on the ground. I I, I pick her up and I'm gonna throw her into the landmines. Okay, into the landmines that you have. Okay, perfect. Go ahead and make another athletics roll. Oh, fathers bear witness. No, that was a 16! Oh, I turned at the last second. You're playing with like the physical dice rolling across the monitor? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like you see the physical dice across the monitor yeah. and then it shows up as the thing. I see, I see. So it was... you pick her up and as you throw, she uses that chance to summon her inventory and slice your hand with her naginata. So you, you do throw her, but she lands like right here. Tumbles onto the ground. Uh, where, where oh, she tumbles right there? All right, Joe. Yep. Does the, would that be an action or a bonus yeah, action? that's a full that action. That's a full action. That's right. So, as a bonus action, I could still use my other hand, correct? Depends on what you're doing. If I just strike her? With, like, a punch? 
Yes. I would say yeah. I mean, it would be with your offhand though, not your lizard hand. That's fine. All right. Yeah, go for it. That's fine. Um. Well, my other hand has the the, the scissor in it, so with that. You're gonna have to drop I mean, the scissors. I have to drop this. It's not part. It's part of my inventory, right? Yeah, you can how put do, them in your do... inventory. You can just like store them and then go for a punch. I, that's fine. Just you're how do, storing how should them I, and then punching. How should I roll for this uh, unarmed make a strength, strength roll? Just strength. Okay. Just strength. That's what we're gonna use. Nineteen. Nineteen. Okay. So the way I'm doing this, I know some people say D and D does it differently. We're gonna do D four plus strength. Okay, uh, six damage. Six damage. You slice through wounds that were just healed by the rays from her orb. She's looking up at you. This is it, isn't it? You have the rivets, look at your arm. Oh, I'm so sorry. She closes her huh. eyes, serenely huh? basks in the glow of the orb. And then what opens the... it again, and there's like a ferocity, a slight glimpse of like a ferocity as she gets serious. Radiant wave! And Shinsu from the orb just comes slamming down. Make an intelligence saving throw. 15. Uh, 15, that beats it. You still take half damage. You still take five damage as you block the Shinsu running into your arm. It's still running through your body and dealing damage. I, I'm the Dark Souls boss right now. <laughs> pretty, yeah, you pretty much are. That's how your, I feel. Your turn, your turn. <laughs> Third <laughs> turn, transform. Third out of six. All right, I'm going for the ult, like, I'm going for my super punches, all right? Okay. I'm going for an attack with my with my transformed arm. All right. Um, remind me how I roll for that again. It says it there. Let me let me check the message. Oh my god. Um, so same thing. It, like make a strength check. Strength. A strength check. Yep. Oh, a strength roll. Oh, I don't a strength use... roll. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Correct. And if you land, it's going to do a lot of damage. It that didn't land. <laughs> it didn't, a huge whoosh passes through the arena, but she nimbly dodges, holding her Naginata above her head. Going in for another strike. Okay, offhand, right? Yeah, that's right. Okay. I'm going to... Okay. 12. She dodges that one, too. She's dodging between them. Normally, I would give you disadvantage on the offhand, but because you're transformed, I'm going to say it's fine. <laughs> okay. Her turn. Is that right? It is indeed. That is right. She's going to attack you with the Naginata. Ooh, yeah, that's a 25. That is a 25. That one, that one hits. She's going to deal some damage to you. That is eight damage, the Naginata slicing through your skin and through the barrier. And then, orb! And then Shinsu flies towards you. I need you to make two intelligence saves. If. All right. Four. A five and a four. Woo! Let's go ahead and roll that damage, shall we? Okay, come on, Fawn. Okay, nine damage as the Shinsu flies down from the orb. Not as strong as uh, the, the Radiant Wave would be, but two of them. <laughs> First one not doing as much, but the second one hits you right in the chest and you feel your Shinsu, it, it doesn't protect you from that. Not yet. <laughs> Sorry, we didn't chat. All right, your turn. This is it, Joe. This is the moment of truth. All right. 
Joe. I need to push her into the landmines. You, you're trying to shove her here? Yes. I think it's a little closer than that, but yeah. I believe we said it was right here. It was like one square. Northwest. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. Understood. Shove! Instead of making an attack roll, you may make an athletics check contested by their athletics or acrobatics. So she's going to use acrobatics, you're going to use athletics for me. Now, let me double check something here about you. And make sure I do, I want to make sure I do this right. Uh, okay, we're good. Go ahead and make an athletics check. We're good, all right. Oh, please! You go for the oh. shove, but she nimbly steps aside. <laughs> your, your hand with a huge amount of force flies past her. Other Joe, I'm buying you dice, man. No, 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 no. <laughs> this is how I do it. It is what it is, but I can't lose. There's no way. Bonus action? What else can I do? Can a mere bonus action do? Trying to think. I'm sorry. Okay. You're good. Leaf is very nervous in the stands. She's kind of on the edge of her seat, but Victor's standing up. Come on, Damien! Uh, Shion, who is with her team, also shouting, You can do it! And Jason beside her. Yeah! Well played. I'm sure your brother, D. Gabriel, would be quite pleased with this. You, do you know him? <sighs> can I, can I, you, do you? What's your plan? <laughs> My plan is I'm going, I'm going to tackle her. We're both going into the landmines. It's a bonus action. I'm going to have to give you disadvantage. All right. I'll take it. It's my last hurrah. Disadvantage athletics check. Disadvantage athletics check. The seven. You, you're just going to like charge into her? Is that your plan? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm I'm going to use my my football tackle ability. Okay. And I'm going in. We're both we're both going in. She steps aside as you bowl into the landmines. Uh-oh. <laughs> Wait a second. Oh, oh, no. Now, these are your landmines. I'm going to have you roll uh 2d8 for me. Joe, I'll be real. That get uh, that no. If it even if it lowballs me, it gets me. I'm done. All right, you charge into the mines. <laughs> There's a huge explosion. You don't fall off the edge, but it does knock you back. You Team rockets <laughs> blasting <laughs> off again. Your head hits the ground. And... I landed on my head. Not like like backwards. You know what I mean. Like your head hits the ground as you fall back. It does, it, does, it hurts. Um. You then feel the fate effect kind of ensnare you and you start to freeze up. And your arm starts shriveling back to normal. Painful. Well. Well, I guess I lose. The winner is Fawn Bon Sycamore from Team Sycamore! Oh, I'm sorry. I don't she, know your brother. She walks over to you. You were so strong. Oh, shush, you. It was, I'm just happy I made it this far. Can I tell you a secret? Uh, I was really struggling to control my Shinsu there. If the fight had continued, I think you might have won. You know, that's unfortunate, really. 
I... you get over your, your rivets soon? Is it contagious? I don't know what you're talking about. If it's contagious, I mean, I don't know if it's a good idea for you to go to the dance tomorrow. It's... I don't know what you're talking about. Brack is like... <laughs> Brack, you hear all this through the speakers. <laughs> Brack is like a puddle on the ground. Because he really wanted Damien to win. But then he, he hears her say, if you... If you're really hurt, you don't need you don't need to go to the dance. He perks up, he's like, no 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 no. You're not just gonna beat the frog and not take him to the dance. <laughs> what do you think you're doing? No. Treat him. <laughs> right, Stax? Wait. I hope we'll get going a to... chance to talk at the dance. Brack, I think I think it's gonna be okay. I think it's gonna be good. Just just calm down. Just chill. Be my boy's butt and not try to take him to the dance. No, taking him to the dance. As long as it's not contagious, I would still love to go with you. I really don't know. I I mean, <laughs> the the, the office. They're trying to rush you off the stage to get ready for the next match. While but the two of you are talking while you're leaving. I'm just gonna take a quick quick nap. Of course. And you, yeah, your body is you're struggling to move right now, but you're able to walk back to your seat. Ugh. Hey man, you did great. You 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 killed it out there, dude. I certainly killed myself there. Yep. I mean, I wouldn't. I wouldn't say that. I think you're. I think you're good, man. I think you're good. Mm, I did my best. You did great. My, my head wasn't in the game. It's okay. I understand the feeling. And you did really good, Damien. Really. Looks at my. My, my long list of low rolls. Yeah, I did. I did really good. <laughs> I did as good as could be expected. Fawn returns to the gambling room and sits back down, and then just starts preparing for the next round as if nothing happened. And uh, she's she's nearby Vaughn, who's just kind of looking at her from the corner of his eye. He's kind of scooting a little bit away from her. <laughs> Funny, I told you to take it easy on my boy out there. You, uh, look like you tried to kill him. Huh? I wouldn't try to kill him. He was very strong. If he had hit a couple of those punches, I don't think I would have won the match. You, 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 you know how you can, like, you know, help him out? You should treat him Medicine. very well at that dance that I hear you two are going to. As long as his sickness isn't contagious, then sure. No, no, no. The ribbits will be fine. He he has he gets shots for those. Like, don't even worry about that. <laughs> oh, good, 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 good. And then she turns back. Well, what an ex what an exciting match for everybody. We're preparing for the next match very shortly. I was like, bro, my friend, he's a great guy. He has, like, rabies, but, like, he's great. He's super <laughs> good. He fine. got all of his shots. He's really good. It's totally fine. It's you get him all the ketchup ice cream that boy can stomach. <laughs> uh, Oreo looks excited. He's in front of the crowd. The next match has arrived between Team Loud and Proud and Team Fate. It's Huangso versus Smile. We really got to vote on this. Do, do, do we really got to bet on this? Stax, do we? Just get it over with, she says. Bull. <laughs> Looks over you. Is she going to take a dive? That, that's the only way I see her losing is if she takes a dive, bull. I don't know her very well. You know her better than I do. What, what do you mean I don't know her very well? So? No, I'm talking about Smile. You really think Smile would take a dive in this fight? I don't know what she would do. She's unorthodox. He kind of points a finger. You're right about that. Everyone's putting down their vote. A very quick vote. Oh. Now, you all outside the gambling room uh, are, are watching as Huang So gets up, kind of cracks her neck, but before she before she walks onto the stage. Uh, both Butterscotch and Min say, Hey, stop, Huangso. And Min continues, Listen, I, I know that Taki's been hyping you up as a member of our team, but 
We get it. Just, you only joined our team because you didn't have any other choice, and we get it. It's okay. And then Butterscotch continues, yeah, there's no hard feelings if you just want to quit at the start. <laughs> Huang So just scoffs and embarrass myself like that? First of all, let's get something straight. I did have a choice. Join your team or not enter this tournament. I made my choice. And she kind of shrugs their hands off of her. <sighs> Win or lose, I gotta do this. She heads out onto the stage. And then Taki in the booth is, yeah, let's go! <laughs> He's a bit restrained as he cheers for her. Super bunny. Um, I think we're about to get some uh, Angus beef tonight, if you know what I mean. I think uh, Smile is about to show up her cutlery skills, if you know what I mean. Yeah, wait, you're, you're saying she's gonna kill? But can, you like, saw what she did to that dog. But can, I'm like, just saying. I mean, she, she wasn't gonna kill him, I don't oh. think. <laughs> Killing means you lose half your points. Smile doesn't care. You don't understand. She's a demon. She doesn't care what happens to anyone. She just cares about her fun. I'm just saying. And there's this look of pure fear on Taki's face when you say that. He turns back. Just give up. Just quit. It's okay. Just quit. You can't so. do anything now. I'm just putting it back. Alrighty, you know what? Let me go check and see who you bet. Well, let, me, let me just double check this here really quick. Uh, so it has to be. Remember, there's an 100 point minimum. Just oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, we'll yeah, just yeah, raise yeah. that I, to that. I, I okay. Forgot, I forgot. All right. Let's let's put it at the bare minimum. Perfect. Ain't All no right. Oh, oh, how how much did I win from the last match? I I will update you soon on that. Um, during the break. Okay. I I think it'd be better oh, to do cool, it cool. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's that's easier. Okay. Huang <sighs> So has her club. She's kind of like tapping against her shoe, examining it. And Smile just skips up onto the stage. <laughs> she has a huge grin. You're the last member of that team with all the boys, aren't you? The one with all the cuties. And she kind of waves over to the where Loud and Proud is sitting. But this time they're not waving back. They all look dead serious. Oh, I'm kind of jealous. I kind of wish I was in your place. I think that'd be pretty fun. Being surrounded by cute little boys who are so naive about the tower. <laughs> Cut the shit, says Huang So. If you're gonna beat me, just beat me. And you know what? And Huang So points her club at Smile. Another thing. All of you from Team Fate, don't think I haven't noticed this. You're always trying to get us to quit right when the round starts. Whether it's you or the creepy one with the changing eyes. You always do this, always want us to quit, and then you want to make us beg for us to quit. You want us to grovel at your feet, right? <laughs> you don't know who I am. That's not going to happen today. And Smiles just has this face. Huh? What did you say? Are you assuming things about me? About who I am and what I'm going to do? <laughs> and Huang So just has her club ready. Let the match begin! And while Smile had her chainsaw, she just throws the chainsaw onto the ground, creates like a little crater, and then just runs at Huang So with her fists, and then <laughs> and there's just like a flurry of punches from Smile as she's Punching, 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 punching. And Huang So can't block like a single attack. Just getting punched in the face over and over and over and over and over again. And the crowd is cheering. Some of them are getting a little quiet. But Min is saying, just give up, just give up. Just over and over again. And her face is just all bruises and blood's trickling down her nose. Smile just knees her in the stomach. She coughs, Huang So just coughs up blood. And then just over, she's like kneeing her in the face now. She's like pulling her by the hair and just kneeing her in the face. Don't assume things about... And then like, as she's going to go in for one, Huang So hits where she's grabbing her by the hair and knocks Smile back a couple steps. 
and she spits out blood. She looks horrible. Her face is all bruised and bloody. And she goes in for a punch, and Smile doesn't move. <laughs> Huang So gets a huge punch to Smile's face, and Smile turns as the punch hits her. And there's just some silence that looked like it took everything out of Huang So to throw that punch. But the whole time, Smile hasn't lost her smile. I'm not what you think I am. I'm Smile. And she turns back. That's all. And then just like, she just grabs her. She runs into her and tackles her. And then just like throws her off of the stage with one big tackle into the water. <sighs> The winner is Smile from Team Fate! Bool leans forward. I'm gonna go see if I can check on her. And he gets up. Check on her? You would check in on her? Vaughn looks surprised. That's what family's for. And he leaves the room. Min jumps off and Butterscotch follows. Even Dan also follows, and they all head over to where Huang So is, and she appears to be unconscious, and they rush over the medics, and they put her on a, on, on a little carrier, and they take her to the infirmary. Before Smile leaves the platform, she just goes over to where her chainsaw was and revs it and kind of holds it up, and then puts it back in her inventory and then uh, walks back to her team. The crowd seems to be pretty pleasantly surprised by that. He's unhinged. Unhinged is right. Super bunny. It's fine, see? She's, she's alive, she's fine. Everything's fine. You made it sound like she was gonna kill her. <sighs> I think what she said saved her life. She used her hands and not the chainsaw. She made it more personal than about leaving it for pleasure for Smile. So Huang So's... Her attitude. It saved her life. Yeah. A tear but... falls down his cheek. <laughs> She's the perfect fit for our team. Whoa, 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 I'm whoa, so relieved. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. <laughs> I'm so relieved. She's Super alive. Super She's okay. Super Bunny, check in with her first. Check in with her first. Once That's we get a break. Team. No, 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 Brack. He turns to you. I trust my team to do that. Oh, okay. All right. All right. The leader should do it too. But whatever Before long, Ghoul strolls back in. Oh, go figure. We're not allowed to leave. Thought they might make an exception, but oh well. Heads back to his chair. Maggie walks over to you, Brack. So about this smile person, is she someone you fought before? You know who would be the best person to ask about that? He's our historian. He's also a very, very valuable member of our organization. It would be Victor. Oh, the hot one? Of course a teenager like you would think that. Yes, the the hot one. Maybe I'll go pay him a visit later and ask. She goes and sits okay. down. Jerry is just watching all this completely straight-faced. Uh, any reactions from Team Recall on the outside? Anything? Simon, if he was talking, you mute it. Yeah, everyone's muted, just so you know. Well, that was the expected result. No, no, no. Get more I'm not talking. I was speaking for myself through my actions, bro. All right. Go ahead, Eden. That's a surprise it didn't get more bloody. Yeah. It looked like she was ready to kill that dog earlier. Mm -hmm. But maybe she has some control after all. 
Poor Cal, I'd stay in capped too. That's right, turns to you, Damien. You set her up with Cal, right? Uh-huh. Oh yeah, I guess I did. I bet you he's not I bet you he's conscious and he's just staying in there just for good measure for a couple more days. I know huh. I would. I could probably check on him if if that's no, the case. No, let's, let's just leave him be. Let's let him get his rest. He's been through enough, Damien, don't you think? He'll be fine. Trust me. If he wanted to be here, he'd be here right now. He's licking all The next match will be our final match before a quick break for everybody. Are you enjoying the matches? Everyone cheers. Are you enjoying the matches? And everyone cheers louder. Our finalists will be given special rewards for finishing this battle gamble, so it's very paramount that they win this final round. It is time for round four, our battle number four of our round three of battle gamble. This is an exciting one. Another member of Team Recall this time. Victor versus Nameless! Woo 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 woo! And Maggie kind of leans forward. There he is! Victor. Yeah? You know you can't just win this. As it is, right? You don't think I can win? No. I do believe you can win. It's just... Not with what you've been doing up to this point. Want a grenade? <laughs> no, he doesn't want a grenade, Dan. Uh, Stop okay. this. I'm asking Victor. Do you want a grenade? No, no, no. All right. He doesn't need one. You've been able to win any fight you wanted to if you wanted to show us your true capabilities, right? You're saying I've been lying to you this whole time? No, we've already hashed that out. That's not what I'm talking about. What I'm saying is my stepson is one step away from victory. And you're someone that's capable of showing him what defeat is. Show him. I'll admit, I've got a couple things up my sleeve, but I don't know, man. He's pretty strong. He oh, looks over at you, John. Kind of gives you a nod. If you lose, you're buying us food for the next two years. What's that? Maybe we'll call it a year. If that, maybe a month. We'll see. Okay, next year. I'm done. Uh, John, do you respond to Victor's gesture? You're muted. My bad. Um, he looks at Victor like he's going to say something. And then it looks like he kind of has this like scared expression and he looks away from him. He doesn't say anything. All right. Good luck, Victor. Victor turns to you, Eden. Time to go. Good luck. Thanks. He kind of starts to leave. Hey, by the way, Eden, um, we'll talk in a bit. We'll talk in a bit. See you after the fight. Yeah. Do your best, Victor. He kind of stops. He's going to need more than his best. Hey, Eden. Mm-hmm. Tomorrow? You and me? Just for fun. Go on your fight. <laughs> Puts on a smile. Be back in a bit. He heads out onto the stage. And opposite him, you see a man without a name. You see someone... You got a name, bro. <laughs> no, enough of this. <laughs> he he doesn't have the hood up, uh, but he is standing there, motionless. And inside the gambling booth, so young lets out a long sigh. Victor is strong, isn't he, Brack? That's all right. Yes, he's strong. Hey, hey. There was this whole big thing that happened like back in back when we were on the sixth floor where we 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 hosted like a fantastic event, you know. The frog was the announcer for the event. It was amazing. Yeah. He and he and his, you know, brother technically duked it out and it was a match to behold. So I'll That's say he's true. pretty strong. When I read him on the twentieth floor. 
There was something about him that was... as if he had a lot of potential. I thought I had imagined it, but looking back, I'm pretty sure my intuition was right. Um, now, outside the gambling room, sort of amongst the crowd, Team Blessing is nearby. <sighs> Shion looks a little nervous. To be honest, no matter which way this fight goes, it's gonna be epic. And Jason says, is that Kun really that strong? Can you really stand up to Nameless? Leaf, Jason, his name is Leaf. Oh, my bad. No. My brother will win. My brother will win. And Astrid looks nope. very serious. Um, nearby, Sif, the maid, is sitting there. She's not wearing her maid outfit or anything, but she's sitting there. He did beat Roar in combat, so we shouldn't underestimate him. And then Yal says, he did? He defeated Roar? And he looks back. It's time for the match to begin! In three, two, one! They're standing across from each other. But as soon as Oreo finishes saying one, the moment that Leaf goes for his blade, Victor moves first. He moves first and he dashes in towards Leaf. And right as Leaf is about to pull out his blade, suddenly there's three wounds on Leaf and Victor dashes backwards, does a backflip away from him. Leaf looks down at his wounds. And Victor just kind of stands up, taps his spear on his shoulder, and then zoom, Leaf flies in towards Victor, matching his speed. Ching, slashes. It looks as if Victor blocks, but suddenly there's a slash wound across his chest. Victor pushes him back. Ching, doo, doo. They're fighting back and forth, back and forth. But one thing is clear. The person who has the slight edge right now is Victor. The speed is faster than Leaf. His attack's not as strong. Every once in a while, Leaf will land a blow, slicing through Victor's Shinsu barriers, or his uh, resistances. But Victor is landing more blows on Leaf. There's one point where Leaf strikes, and Victor slides, doo, doo, and stabs both of Leaf's knees. He kind of hesitates for a minute. Stands back up, blocks, strikes, blocks, strike. Victor is landing blow after blow on Leaf. <laughs> Use it, says Astrid. Use it, Leaf. Uh, are you sure, Astrid? I know he's been practicing it, but no, he has to. And then Sif says, he has been practicing it a lot. And then Njal continues, you too, Astrid, right? Shut up, Njal. Watch the fight. And the fight is continuing between the two of them. And Njal mumbles under his breath, it didn't work for me. And then Sif says, we aren't closely related to Bjorn, Njal. And the fight is just continuing. She, she says, just shut up, guys. And they're fighting back and forth, back and forth. Eventually, they hesitate for a minute. They're watching each other. Leaf is dri uh, bleeding from his wounds. Is this how you defeated him? Roar Linquist. Oh, that? No, that was a that was a team effort. You see that? See her over there? Little girl? Yeah, she helped me out, and I guess Wu did a couple things as well. But you're not nearly as strong as he is. What's going on? There's just silence from Leaf. They continue to fight. The speed is on Victor's side. But the fight shifts because Victor goes in for a stab. But as he goes in for a stab and Victor goes in for a block, Victor instead jumps into the air and goes in with his spear flying down towards Leaf. All of you who are on the second floor, you're reminded of the attack that killed Boulder as he's going in, striking down with his spear. Electricity shimmering around his hands. He goes in, but Leaf is able to easily dodge. Really? That's all you can... Lightning flashes above them. 
as a huge spear of lightning flies straight into Leaf from behind. <laughs> Protruding out of his chest, the Shinsu spear. <clears throat> his look of shock on his face. And you all notice the remnants of electricity in the air when Victor jumped up to fake an attack. The Shinsu spear vanishes and fizzles. I know you got more than that, Leaf. Or, I guess you don't have a name, do you? Hmm, shame. Leaf turns to face him. He pulls back his cloak, revealing the Linquist blessing, the Linquist flame. There's a huge flash of light, and this blinding aura for a minute is just shimmering all around Leaf. There it is. Now the real fight begins, right? Bring it on! <sighs> Leaf goes in for a tornado rising. <sighs> the, the wind just shifts and there's a huge tornado. It looks like it's gonna send Victor into the air, but then Victor <clears throat> fires out a Shinsu bang and the tornado starts to ripple with electricity and it doesn't seem to affect him very much. But as he kind of fizzles out the tornado rising, uh... Leaf closes the distance. And now the fight is in Leaf's favor. Block strike, block strike. He's now landing more blows on Victor, evening up the fight to where now they're about even in a way compared to earlier. Surprisingly even footing. But the speed that you all see from Victor, the strength, it is a different Victor from the one that you saw fight in Artlim against Jong. He is exponentially stronger and exponentially faster in particular. and Leaf appears surprised. There's even a moment where Victor is able to sweep Leaf. He looks like almost like Leaf could tumble off, but Leaf grabs on, Tornado Risings back up onto the stage and appears to be totally fine. Fights back into the middle of the arena. This is amazing! We all knew that Kuhn Victor was in the top 10, but that he was this strong? I don't think any of us could have expected this. Any reactions from Team Recall? Jong, are you just watching intently? Jong doesn't say anything, but he does look scared. He looks scared. Interesting. Scared. I'll just say that Wu is looking at this like it's a joke. Like he's not done yet. Okay. Victor is dancing around a lot of these attacks, but when he does take one, the blessing activates and it's a huge gash in his shoulder on his leg. The damage is real when he does hit Victor. It is it is a lot. Let's finish this, says Victor. He leaps into the air. Sets Bolt! Fires it down towards Leaf. Victor has a smile on his face, enjoying this fight. And for a moment, it's as if Leaf doesn't do anything as the attack flies towards him. But then in an instant, he sheaths his blade. Wu, Jong, you remember what he was using as you almost finished, as you were finishing him off during the Linquist test. The moment this blade is sheathed, it flies back out. And sets Bolt completely nullified against the blade. Huh? Victor lands back on the ground, breathing heavy. Not bad, not... And then Leaf swoops in, the blade shimmering. Strike, strike, strike! Striking blow after blow, and Victor is not able to block as many strikes as before. God damn it! And then Victor, as he goes in for a triple thrust, immediately, once again, Leaf sheaths his blade, but Victor doesn't have time to react. It's like, as the strike is coming towards him, the blade is sheathed, flies back out, blocking Victor's attack in a huge... Slash, and then another slash, a huge X across Victor's chest. Blood pouring from the wound. <laughs> Victor holding him up by the spear. The spear is the only thing keeping him up above the ground. <laughs> he holds up a hand. You win, man, you win. <laughs> he falls to his knee. The blessing vanishes from Leaf. Leaf walks over to him and kneels down. 
were strong. Much stronger than the 20th floor. And he stands back up and, like, walks past him. The winner is... Leaf! Uh, uh, ha ha! Malfunctioning! Malfunctioning! Nameless! From Team Blessing! Woo-hoo-hoo! The crowd goes crazy, but a lot of people, more than Leaf, or more than Nameless, they're shouting uh, Victor's name. Victor! 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 <laughs> Victor coughs up some blood. He kind of limps back to Team Recall. You gonna be okay? That's not fair, man. He's not even a part of the Ten Families. I'm a coon. Ugh. An embarrassing show. He sits down. Whew. I wouldn't worry about it. You should probably you did get your best. Out. Hannah, can you turn up your mic just a little bit? Sorry, I was leaning back. Oh, you're good. You should probably get checked out. Oh, I'm okay. Coon family you're... blood and all that, you know? Yeah, and it's all over the floor. He looks down as his wounds are dripping. Yeah, I'll be right back. A couple of band-aids should do the trick. BRB. Hey, Eden. Hmm? We on for tomorrow? Just, again, just for fun. Let's... Dance or two. <clears throat> Make sure you have <clears throat> enough blood for tomorrow, so go <laughs> Just get. let me know, all right? <clears throat> I will. He's got plenty of blood left. He yeah, just cocks a look at Wu, like, what the <laughs> So much delicious blood left in his body, yes, I agree. <clears throat> That's not what I said. A marvelous crimson hue of liquid. No, dude, you know, you know what? Yeah. That's so that's awesome. how you're saying it, right? Wow. No, no, that was not what I was trying to say. Oh. While you all no, are doing this, you... Grace Belger is, like, cleaning up the blood with a little rag from the ground. Um, He's too good for all of us. Careful, you shouldn't be doing that, Harry yeah, Stelk, yeah. if you have any open wounds. <laughs> you don't want to get anything. What are you insinuating? You know, like a blood thing. A blood no, thing? I don't know what you mean. Well, it's just, Here, you know, bad. Oh, uh, Harry Stelk, I'll help you. And Leaf gets down and starts helping him clean up the blood. Inside the gambling room. Uh, wow. To be honest, Victor's come a long way. I thought he was just an idiot from the second floor, but he's definitely from the families. Like, that's what she him. saw? It? That's so disrespectful. <laughs> it, it, he has come a long way. It's it's funny. I tried to fight. Remember when I tried to fight him during the uh, crown game stacks? Oh, remember yeah. that? Yeah, I do remember. Ah. Yeah, when we left Bulwark to deal with a uh, whole team by himself, I do remember. Yeah, good times. But yeah, he, he he's come a long way. Um, Stexa, you say you thought he was an idiot. Why is that? No, just that he was always flirting with Eden, and I don't know. He just gave me the vibes of somebody who wasn't taking it seriously, you know. But it's pretty clear that I was just a facade. Jerry's this cat tapping his arms against his armor. Brack. Huh? Have you ever trained with Kuhn and Victor? <laughs> we, we sparred, squabbled a little bit. Well, yikes. Turns back. I believe Elias has this potential within him. However, he has been struggling to control his emotions and his powers. I'm wondering if you noticed anything about Victor's training that I could use to teach my own coon teammate. But I understand that you wish to keep your secrets. There, there aren't really... Nobody's any... keeping secrets. <laughs> there aren't really... There isn't really anything special that I can tell you. He... He just seems like someone who loves the thrill of a good fight. I think it's more so his bloodlust, but... Eh. There's something you either got or you don't got. You can't teach that. He just nods, turns back. It is time for our break! 
Everyone, including the gamblers, may have 10 minutes to mingle about, grab a bite to eat, and we'll return with some of the best fights you've seen in this workshop battle so far. Enjoy our sponsored break. And you see a bunch of ads playing on the screen. Damien, you noticed Dio Mart appearing on the screen first, and Thaddeo is appearing on the screen, showing off some products in his clean shop on the 21st floor, and it appears that he's opened up another shop uh, on the 35th floor. Oh. Oh, no. I didn't do too much. Thaddeo. No, I'm not doing this. You're going to be seeing him again soon. What was it again that you didn't like about him? Just that he was he's, your boss? My, he's just my former boss. And, you know, him being connected with Timian and Upio and wanting your scissors and just being kind of shady in general. Oh, yeah. Remember? More, more the fact that he was my boss. The fact that he was he your boss you. bothers you more than all of that? <laughs> yeah. He was my boss for a long time. Also, isn't he connected to Timian? Yeah, that's what I said. From Artlin? Yep. What are the odds? And Siliong's mother. Shion turns back. What about Siliong? Even will get up and get closer to, to Shion to so not broadcast this. Um. Timian was involved in slave trading. And what? guaranteed. Sigme sold her own sister into slavery, and somehow she made her way to Timian by some means. And I think that's how Siliang was born on the sixth floor. He's involved and he knows where she's at potentially. Disgusting. Yep. The regulars kind of all start to get up and go take a break. Taki bolts out of the room at lightning fast speed to go check up on Huang So. Uh, but still young takes his time to leave. Brack, what do you do? Uh, Brack gets up and he goes see Damien. Okay. So once you uh, leave the gambling room, you, you exit the room, you head down the stairs. You hear a, a voice from behind you. Excuse me? Brack Bronson, correct? Mm, that's my name. Who's saying it? You turn and you have to look down because this kid is much shorter than you. Uh, roll history for me. Hey, we really, we really pulling out the old, old stuff. Let's, let's see. History, history, where is it? here <laughs> okay that's it, 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 it for a four so um with your bad memory and all it takes you a minute takes you a minute um as the kid asks you you don't realize who it is until he starts talking to you we have art on the screen here excuse me whoa oh would you mind if i asked you a few questions for my book we spoke once on the 21st floor First floor. I I don't remember talking with anyone on the twenty first floor. It was what? outside of a toy shop or a weapon shop or something. Um, I was wondering if I could ask you another question, just like then. And then Brack, you definitely remember, especially because you saw him again when you were ascending to the twenty second floor. Oh, oh yeah. The kid that I was going to get to rob the store. Ah, how you doing? How you been? Great. Your matches so far have been very, very well done. I'm and, impressed. You know, we aim to please, you know. But sure, you can ask me a question. Go ahead and ask it. Would you mind if I bought you lunch? How deep and... are your pockets? <laughs> we'll take our break there. Uh, don't go anywhere, anybody. Enjoy the memes and fan art. Y'all been killing it, as always. And leave a like, also, uh, before the meme reel starts. We really appreciate that. Support the series. We'll be right back. Bye-bye. Oh. Correct, if you don't ask...
Yo, dudes, the Empire's pretty chill. Maybe you could, like, join it or something.
<laughs> Another thing. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody, to Towers and Gods, episode 52. Thank you all so much for the amazing memes and fan art. If you want to submit your own, link is down below. It's just so cool uh, seeing every day there's new memes, new fan art, and uh, a lot of you. Beautiful. Joe, do you have a favorite? All of them. Okay. Wow. You heard it here, folks. You can join that favorite group if you. No, no, no. Uh, just your today, own. though. The rest of them are now a tier. Okay. Become a tier lower automatically. Uh, now. Okay, so oh, don't shit. join the Discord. Only for, don't, only for episode. Don't submit any you. memes or. Fans. You guys have to forgive him. Nine is his favorite number. Today's the ninth. It's just it is what it is. You yeah. know. <laughs> hey, look. You know, Damien hasn't had the best strategy with marketing, so maybe don't let other Joe market like the Discord. <laughs> the idea that the True. number nine Dude. is my favorite day. Never mind. Never mind. I'm about to give you that one. Draw, no, you, you just you literally. Just to the next I'll just ignore <laughs> oh, what was said after. Really quick, yeah. I want to give some shout outs for some more super chats. Dart Angel says, Nat 20, let's go for Blazer. Shoot your shot, shoot your shot, shoot your shot. He shot his shot and uh, it went pretty well. Uh, thank you very much. Dart Angel again, Blazer emote. We'll see. Dart Angel again, the game is rigged against Damien, I swear. It's and not. One, one final super chat for if Damien wants real dice after the fun fight. Okay, so oh, that super chat is going towards a dice fund, apparently. Like okay. I said, I like, other... I like everyone being able to see my role, though. It is pretty other, cool. Other Joe, I sent you the coolest dice ever, and I just need you to buy them. Even if you don't use them, they're just perfect. They are like frog cool. dice. But they're they the... come with a Domino's pizza crazy bread. Look, I'll buy you no, Domino's if you buy the dice, okay? Here we go. Wait a minute, I have, I we have. Can ro we can rotate that every week. We can get you Domino's every week if you just want to like. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If these are if these are the dice I'm thinking about, you do need to cop these dice. Yes. It would, it would yes, be a pretty sweet guys, deal. Yeah. If everybody <laughs> bought me Domino's every week for Tower of God. Oh my god. I'll buy you Domino's for one week for Towers of God for sure. Uh, Dark Angel says apologies for spamming super chats. I was heated. No, but thank you. We appreciate it. Appreciate it. Um, okay, we're gonna return now. Uh Towers and Gods is going to return. So Rack, you're currently in the hallway. Um, this this kid is going to take you over to. There's like a. There's people who are there, like little like side vendors who are giving out like hot dogs and hamburgers and you know. And if you're a contestant, you get it for free and you know like at least one piece of the menu, one item off of the menu for free. And he takes you over to one of them. What would you like to eat? All of it. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> All of it. He smiles. Could I have one of everything, please? And his pocket pops up. No kids' meals. Of course not. You're a very big man. I like this kid. I like this kid. Something told Brack like when I thought about it and I looked at you, I was like, oh, he's kind of dressed like like r short round from Indiana Jones a little bit. But you know, Brack Brack had the insight, the the, the forethought. Like this kid. Is the meals are here, and he takes you over to a nearby table and sits you down. I won't take much of your time. I really just have one question for you. Just chowing down. Go ahead and ask your question. Like, the last time I spoke to you, you inspired me a bit. You told me that even if human beings didn't have weapons, they would still find a way to cause war. You told me because they had hands and bodies. Do you still hold true to that statement? Yes. Because I'm writing a book, I wanted to jump off of that point. In your opinion, what if humanity, what if humans didn't have greed? What if they didn't have weapons, and they didn't desire more than they needed. Would wars and strife still continue? Yes. Because greed is just one small fraction as to a entire microcosm of, of conflict. You also have social differences, you have 
different things that people just don't like about other people. It, it could be anything. It's not just greed and the want for more. Conquest isn't always the reason for war. Take for example, when you were younger, do you have siblings, young man? I do, I have a brother. All right. You and, did you, were you raised with your brother? Yes, and I care about him quite a bit. Okay. Have you and your brother ever, you know, tussled a little bit? We used to when we were younger. What were the reasons for you and your brother tussling? The kid looks deep in thought. I don't really remember. I think there was a moment where... <laughs> I think we were fighting over which one of us had to eat the last cookie or some sort of treat like that. Something insignificant, right? He Something's, something just very small. And it had to take you a just just a little bit of brain power to think about what that reasoning was. You just knew that you guys fought. You didn't know the reason why until you thought about it. What Most conflicts think? are like that. Most conflicts start over something small and people fight over it. They lose the meaning behind why they're fighting, but they continue to fight anyway. That's interesting. I think you're right for the record, but let me put it, uh, push this a step forward. What if, let's remove greed from the equation. What if desire, does, does, how does desire impact this? If humans lack desire, do they still cause war and strife? If humans lack desire, then they lack motivation. And if they lack motivation, then we're just all sloths. <laughs> sloths, right. So we wouldn't cause war and strife? Or would we still find a reason? Perhaps we'd find a way just because the option is there, even if there wasn't a reason? I would think so. Someone's napping a little bit longer than you and you're jealous of that. So you go over there and you you kick them out of their spot and take it for yourself. <laughs> could be could be any number of things. Desire is just one part of the equation. Perhaps desire isn't the reason that wars are caused, but one factor amongst many. Yep. Interesting. And he starts writing down notes. I would I say you would pretty much have to make someone who is docile not capable of free thought or not even capable of thinking up for themselves more so a hive mind if you really wanted to prevent wars but that's not possible but that would remove your reason for existing exactly interesting thank you so much um Brack Bronson. I'll be sure to credit you in my book, if you wish. Unless you're no, 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 no. Here's what you can do. Put me down as ghostwriter number five. As I'm down as ghostwriter number five, any proceeds that you get for said book, please forward them to Brack brings up his pocket. This account right here. Just forward it to that account. Send me no less than two percent of the earnings from said book. Now, what I will say is thank you for the food. The meal was delicious. Thank you for listening to this old man's ramblings, and I'll see you later. Of course. I hope we can talk again someday. Thank you very much for taking my time. Took your time. <laughs> you took my time. And Brack leaves. <laughs> Before you go, um, just, just in case we do meet again, my name is Seth. Seth? What's a Seth? Oh, okay. Take care of the young man. Goodbye. And he walks off as you head the other way. Okay, so now you want to meet up with the others? Yeah. All right, uh, people, uh, Damien, Wu, Jong, Eden, you are leaving the stands, correct? For a bit of time, a snack or something? What's, what's going on? Not, not all at the same time now. Don't, don't overwhelm me here. You know. I'm not leaving nowhere to go anywhere. So. You're oh. staying. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. I want a snack. Snack for Damien. I want to eat something. 
Okay, there's there's various snacks, hot dogs, chips, hamburgers, the kind of thing you'd find at a baseball game, you know? Yeah, I don't need anything that fancy. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> you just need a, a hey. good DVD, huh? A nice <laughs> old DVD. Nah, I learned my lesson. That wasn't very good at all. They have like the wrap wrappers and napkins and stuff. Is that good? Don't give him ideas. No, I don't do that. <laughs> You wipe your mouth with that, and then you eat it. Like, I'm pretty sure there's still dirt on the floor if you want to just, like, help yourself. <laughs> nah. I, you know, that that's to enhance the flavor of the food, not food. Oh, okay, okay. It's a condiment. Seasoning. Okay, a condiment, right, right. Oh, my God. Okay. Hey, okay. Astrid, do you want to get a snack? Huh? Yeah, yeah, let's get some food. You paying? Huh? Yep. All sure. free. <laughs> it's all free. <laughs> One item is free per person. <laughs> <laughs> it's all free. I win. <laughs> this is how he made it to boss status. <laughs> wait, while this is while this is happening, wait, where is Eden and Jong? Are they staying too? Um, yeah, Jong's gonna Jong's gonna walk up to Wu. Hey, what's up, man? Hey. Everything all right? No? Why would you say that? Good. Um, I don't know. You seem unusually focused. My master always used to tell me that you should be most focused when focus is necessary. And I think it's necessary here. Hmm. Hey, look, this no longer has anything to do with you, if that's what you were thinking. I really want to fight him. Can't think of anything I want more. Oh, you mean Jerry's? Yeah. What are you talking about? I, uh... You, you good, John? Been acting kind of weird recently. And not just your normal weird, but like super... Super weird. Me? Yeah, I'm fine. I, uh... I don't know, I just... Hey, look. You and I both know that you can win your match. And I don't think you care about all that, but... If you need to hear me say it, I'm gonna say it. More importantly, when all this is said and done, I know you didn't want to talk to them and all. I know this was bigger than all that, but let's just reevaluate the situation. Because I don't think the way we're approaching is the best way. And John puts a hand on Wu's shoulder. Wu, I've been doing a lot of thinking lately. And I think I know what I want to do. And what's that? You've never said anything like that before to me. I'll save it for after my fight. If you're gonna leave me hanging like that, you better win your fight. John pauses for a moment. Yeah, yeah, of course. No, don't sound so unconvinced. Don't tell me you're gonna do it all at once. What happened to the John that I know? Look, I'll win the fight. I mean, it's just one fight, right? What could go wrong? And as as John says that you notice like Wu is just like very perturbed by that that sentiment. Like he's just like, what in the world is going on? Um No, it is it is just one fight. I just thought you'd want to win it. Wu, I just I know this may be a weird time to say this, but I just want to thank you. Thank you for what, John? You don't have to thank me for anything. If no. anything, I owe you thanks. 
even when I was at my absolute worst, and even when there wasn't really any reason to believe in me, you just wouldn't leave me alone. Why would I? You're my brother. Yeah. Why are you talking like you're going somewhere, John? Look, focus up on your match. Bori is on some crazy-ish. Bori, yeah. Um, yeah, no, I'll, I'll be fine. I've, uh, yeah, I've, look, I've got this. Don't worry about me. I've never been worried about you. And I've always known that whatever you try and tackle, you'll succeed. That's why you're my brother. And we just puts his hand on John's shoulder and looks him in the eyes. Double taps it and then walks away. She's sitting in the stands observing that conversation. And she's just looking at, or I say a fuck. <laughs> she's just looking at Jong. Jong just kind of sits there for a minute and he turns over to Eden and he just smiles at her. She just has a very flat expression on her face. You heard me, Joseph. I also want to say that, like, Wu is very perturbed now. Like, he was very much focused on his fight, and now he can only think okay. about the conversation that he just had with Jung. Okay, okay. Uh, before long, Eden, mm -hmm. you, uh, you see Leaf walk up with an ice cream cone. Here, Eden. Thank you, Leaf. Uh-huh. It's, uh, strawberry flavored. <sighs> I was kind of worried about Damien, but I guess I shouldn't have been. He almost won. That was really awesome. He didn't listen to a word of strategical advice I gave him, but he, he held his own. <laughs> I mean, I understand it what his strategy was, but... Uh, for a light bearer, he has very funny ways of really wanting to be a fisherman. That's true, and but... It's a strategy. Doesn't really he help that to... he used his fate power. Sorry? Yeah, I don't think that's the best thing to do on yeah. broadcast. Yeah, I agree. But here we are. Everybody's putting it out there for the entire tower to see. Yep. Before Behind you, you hear someone say, what's up? Flux Falk is just like right behind you. Hello, friends. Pulling up on people like that. <laughs> Leaf jumps. He's just unmoved. What do you want? I wanted to ask you something, Eden, if that was all right. Hmm. Spit it out. Do you have any advice when dealing with roses? Burn them. She cocks her head. Oh, you're talking about Dahlia. Also right. still burn them. I'm a little salty, not gonna lie. But no, you're he's gonna mirror everything you do. And he's gonna be better at it than you are. So I just lose. Foxy, come on. That was a rhetorical question, of course. I never lose. Yes, you've proven it. Round after round. <laughs> You need something, says Leaf. Was that it? Hmm. Flux didn't need that information. She already had it. Isn't that right, Flux? That ice cream looks good. Here. And then she just she hand off. No, she oh. hand Eden hands her mm -hmm. hers. She hasn't even taken a bite yet. Uh, Leaf looks a little sad. <laughs> Eden just pats her head. It's fine. She grabs it. He's like a long lick. Thank you. And then You're welcome. Away. Eden, you don't have to always give to everybody. 
Or was there another reason you... Maybe I'm looking too far into it. Nah, it's just... She wanted ice cream. I can always go get another one. Okay. Um, Brack, you are heading back from your talk with Seth, and uh, you see Astrid and Damien eating together. So that's one of the people you were looking for. Frog? Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, Breck. I was just showing uh, Astrid this really crazy, like, toast recipe thing that I, that I was reading on the internet. You are disgusting. It is toast. You read it on the box? What is wrong with, with you? With strawberry jam, plum jam, marmalade, butter, honey, and shake some cinnamon on there, too. And the ultimate bread is ready. Why would you Don't hate it till you try it. Why would you mention honey? Let me see. The ratio is a bit off, but it's the best thing he's recommended in this whole campaign. <laughs> Ma'am, is he trying to poison you? Probably. <laughs> what? I would never poison. I actually got this off of the internet. App. <laughs> the box. Those people are all trolls. Mm. Okay. Well, I didn't come over here for all of that. You know, what you put in your body is what you put in your body. Uh, how are you doing after your fight? Like, it looked like the dough pretty much did a lot of damage to you. Well, I really wanted to win, Brack. I really did. But it is what it is, as they say. I lost, and there's nothing I can do about it now, so may as well take it with dignity. And yeah. this right here is my dignity. This marvelous piece of bread. I just Ew. ordered a hamburger. Smart person. You can try um, a bit of mine. No, I'm good. If you want, Brack. And Astrid. Uh, well, if you're fine, I'm just going to go ahead and go this way. But good job in your fight, Frog. Uh... I can't, I can't help you anymore. I don't even know how to fix your eating habits. All right, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna head out. You yeah, two well, enjoy your lunch. Uh, Damien, Damien, your dog. You know why. Uh -huh. Oh. <laughs> I, I think I do now. <laughs> well, thanks for checking in on me, Breck. After Brack leaves, uh, you turn to Astrid, who's just eating her hamburger. Uh, never thought I'd be doing this. Hmm? Doing what? Eating with me? Yeah. Is there everything that happened? Yep. Life has a crazy way of putting you in crazy situations, but... It's just gotta roll with it, I think. Ow. <clears throat> And I think that you and me have a lot more in common than you think. Uh, hold on. She's clutching her chest. Oh, what is that? Huh? You got a regular hamburger, didn't you? When you look up, you see that Flux Falk is behind Astrid. Oh. Hello, Flux. Are, are you okay, Astrid? What? Astrid turns. Her eyes grow wide and she backs away. <sighs> I, I, uh, I, uh, and then she just runs off. Uh oh. I wasn't gonna, hopefully, we could talk more. But I'm glad you're here. Why don't you have a seat? She seems like an absolutely lovely person. I think we have a lot in common, honestly. I mean, she was Mila's best friend, I knew Mila myself. We both kind of are not big fans of Mila. I thought we could probably talk about that. But I'm glad you're here. How can I help you, Flux? I came for one thing, Damien. Oh, yeah? Everything is just fine. It's always been fine. And I wanted to just say one thing. Aside from the fact that I can't believe she survived when I impaled her with my sight. I'm sorry. Uh, you know, um, 
You really don't have to be. Oh, okay, good. Your friends told me to apologize, so I just thought huh? things better. Wait, but you. I mean, if you're apologizing, I, I don't really know what you're apologizing for. I apologize but... for acting so crazy the last time we I... spoke. That part I of mean... me is dead now. No need to worry about that. I'm back to being Flux Flock again. I um. The thing is, you're always going to be Flux Folk. You didn't change back or anything. You're always you. No matter what happens. You can't just change back to what you were before. You can try, but... That's not how... That's not how your brain works, Flux. That being said, though, you really don't have to apologize. If anyone should apologize, it's it's me. And why would you apologize? Because instead of listening to you, I just... I fought you. Trapped you in a cave and forced you into a fight you really didn't want. I could have left any time that I wished. You didn't trap me in anything. And like I said, that wasn't even really me. It was... What's the word? The human word for it? A malfunction? No, that makes me sound like I'm... Not human. Anyway, I have a fight to prepare for, but I'm glad we could repair the tension between us. And by the way, be careful when using your fate ability in the future. You don't want the world to see that, do you? You know I made a deal. With Bool. What? He... Did he tell you about that? With... With Bool? No. No. What? You'll give him chocolate bars if he... What? What did you make a deal with Bool about? If we win this workshop battle, we are going to talk to Father. I just thought you should know. I hope we get to talk again, Dean. Uh, I hope we get to talk again, Flux. <laughs> that is such good news. No, I really want you to win. Because you'll finally get to meet him. Well, that all depends on... on one thing. Well, I uh, don't suppose you want to eat a hamburger. It is just sitting there. I'm full from ice cream, but thank you. And then she just turns and starts to walk away. You did well, Damien. You did well. I really wanted to win. She starts walking out of earshot. I really wanted to win. Uh, Brack, you want to find Victor, yes? Yep, Brack is off to find Victor. Okay, before long, you are led to the infirmary, and you see that Victor is sitting in one of the beds, and he looks like he really wants to leave, but the nurse is, like, telling him not to. Brack! going on he's like covered in bandages his arm is in a sling and his leg is all like you know uh, uh, uh what's the word um, the equivalent of something like a uh what about a castle or, brace sling? or a body yeah yeah exactly okay brock walks over to him hey 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 there slugger hey sorry for making you lose points earlier man oh oh Oh, you you thought you thought we lost points? Well, you bet on me, right? Vic, Victor. Hey, my old roommate, Bragg Bronson. Ah, uh. I know you're holding out on me, Victor. Hmm. Oh, 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 oh! You, you surprised? What was that? All you had when you fought against old Lim Lim? 
Pretty much. There was one other thing, but I think I would have pushed it too far, honestly. I gotta keep practicing with Jong. Um, what? And that is exactly why I didn't bet on you, Victor. The only Victor that you get is in your name. You ain't getting the victory. You ain't adding a why. So why would I vote on you? Huh? Why would I vote on you? See, I'd have lost so many points. I would have lost so many points just because you want to hold back, Vicky. But no. Better on Lim Lim. I came down to make sure that you were okay. Uh, right, I'm fine, man. And as you're saying this, Jong also walks into the infirmary. I'm fine, you know? Uh, I've won a lot of fights. I'm not sure why you're saying that, because it, it really doesn't make sense, but... Oh, hey, Jong! Hey, what's going on, man? <sighs> oh, uh... Bruh, what are you doing here? I came to check to on... just insult me, you know? <laughs> uh, Jong, how do you think I did? I, I did okay, right? I mean, come on. I... Jong? Why did you throw that fight? I didn't. I just was... I just knew that if I used the thing that we've been practicing, I would have lost anyway. Thought it best to give up there and then. Before he took a limb or something? Limb limb? Hey! Finger guns at Brack. Since when has that ever mattered? Sorry? Hey, you know, it's probably best if you focus on your fight, um, John. You got a big match coming up against old Bori. I'm fine with my match. It'll end the way it's supposed to. Do you need something? They give free chocolates to the patients here. I can give you one. Victor. Yeah. I'm going to be real with you. I like you, Victor. But it seems like you're deflecting right now. You can't tell me you didn't want to win that fight, Victor. Of course I did. I just knew I was outmatched. Do you think you can beat Bori? <laughs> Easily. Come on. Bori still made it against Lim Lim because Bori took him by surprise with that guardian sword. I'm not sure if he has it under control, so. Plus, Bori oh. is slower than uh, you. Uh, no offense. Um, so I'm pretty sure. That don't matter. Bori was willing to use everything that he had to try to win. You didn't. <sighs> I really they did, man. You guys gotta stop putting this. What, am I not good enough? Every no time one. I lose a fight, or every time I save a... I can't even... What? what what's up? What's going on? You, you Mark puts say? a hand on his shoulder, and he said, No one is saying that you're not good enough. We're saying we know you're better. You're assuming that I'm better. You don't know that. Yes, I do. You're right, maybe I should have pushed myself a little harder. Maybe I should have uh, risked my life out there. You know, ended up like Cal. Ended up like Kusith. Maybe you're right. You didn't have to risk your life. Lim Lim wasn't going to take your life. I'm exaggerating. He... I'm exaggerating. Now, I believe the matches are starting soon. You guys should probably get going. I'll be there in a minute. Victor, don't take it. Don't take this too hard. We're, I'm used we're to just it. trying to. I'm used to it. Nah. That's fine. You, but you shouldn't be. You shouldn't be. I apologize if I came off a little bit rude and abrupt. But I just want you to win.
Okay. Good talk. Brack leaves out. Take care, man. And Jong, you go win that fight, you hear? Victor. What now? What's up? Just want you to promise me something. What's up? This team. Do right by them. I always do. That's your job too, though. We are two members of the Coon family. The only reason we've made it this far so easily is we share the burden, you and I. So we'll keep doing it. We got a lot more floors to climb, man. Yeah. Now go in that fight, all right? Get out, come on. Yeah, I'll go. See you later. Young starts to walk out. Okay, Oreo is calling the regulars back. I know, Wu, you you left. Did you want to... You probably ran into, like, Damien, or what, what did you want to do? I didn't want to do anything. I'm okay. still just thinking about what Jong said. Fair enough, fair enough. I'm going to say everyone is summoned back. Brack, you got to head back to the gambling room. You all part and head back to your seats. But... Eden, before you do, uh, Jerry walks up to you from the gambling room. Huh? Would you mind if we spoke for a minute? Sure. What's up? He kind of pulls you aside. I don't mean to make you uncomfortable, but I just recently learned that each of the team leaders is supposed to bring a date to the dance tomorrow. <laughs> and... And so, I wanted to ask if you were available, but if not, it is perfectly acceptable. Why me? We don't even know each other. I don't know anyone here, if I'm being honest. But it's alright, I just wanted to ask. Can he turns to leave. I'll consider it. No guarantees, though. I appreciate it. It's... Apparently, we all need to do a first dance. It's not something I would have wanted to do. But Fair thank enough. you for considering. Absolutely. He heads back to the gambling room, and uh, yeah, everyone goes back to where they should be. Leaf kind of looks up at you. What was that? I don't know. Hey, hello? Huh. Your name is Leaf, right? Huh? And Leaf turns and Bug is like a couple rows down. Hey, so uh, I was wondering if uh, there's like a dance you see, tomorrow. You see Wu appear like right behind Leaf oh, as he starts no. talking. Absolutely, absolutely. You, Get you, see, you see this dark shadow just appear yep. right behind Leaf as he's talking, dude? Yep. And you see Wu like arms crossed, just heavy stance like <laughs> you were saying. I was saying that the, uh, did you want more ice cream? Because I'm going to go get some. We don't need anything from you, young bug. Run along. <laughs> you don't need anything? Because I just, that's all I was asking. I just wanted to know if, like. From me and my daughter. <laughs> Thank just, you. He scurries off. Why did he bother you? <gasps> it's okay. And you can, see, you can see in Lee's face that she's super frustrated. Uh, huh? In, oh, that's my interpretation. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, she's yeah. like... She sighs. Third one today. Oh, my God. Thir third one? No, that's Cap. I, like, that's her her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, 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 she clarifies. Yeah, a couple guys texted me. I don't even know who they are. Ew. I, this one was in person, so... A little weird. But I turned to leave. Look, I have a lot of my mind right now. And I really want you to have fun, and do you. But as long as it's not Bug, okay? Not Bug. Wait, you're cool with me going with somebody else? Just invite him over first. 
It wouldn't be like that. Okay, okay. I just want to meet them and make sure that you're safe. <laughs> I, you I appreciate that. all are going to be at the same dance. <laughs> <laughs> Look. You know what? Never mind. Sure. Anybody but Bug. You got free license. Go ahead. Really? Anybody? Yeah, sure, sure. Even yeah, anyone. Like, just not, her eyebrows just not are bug. in her hairline. She's like, what? <laughs> just not Bug. Just not Bug. It can't be worse than Bug. <laughs> Nothing but Bug. Okay? Don't take the bottom of the barrel leaf. You can do fucking better. Oh. I mean, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't have said yes, even if you hadn't shown up. Dude, she's worry. a superstar. I'm sure there's plenty of people, but I don't like it. Okay? I don't so like it. And with that, we have returned to Battle Gamble! It is time for the fifth round of the world of, of Battle Gamble to begin! Our fifth match is going to be one that some of you seem to be interested in, but it's a preliminary build-up to our final matches. We have the one, the only, Team Stexa versus Team Strive! Stexa versus Wright! Let's go, Stex. I'll be back in a bit, Brack. Wish me right, luck. Stex. Hmm? Good luck. I already know you're gonna win. Put the beats on him. I w when you're done with him, I want his armor to turn from goddamn going gunmetal gray to goddamn going ruby red. That's what I want out here. Whoa, whoa, Stex. whoa, whoa! Who said anything? No. Okay. I, you're gonna gut him. You're gonna I, gut him. You're gonna, gonna you're gonna turn that right into a left, Stex. <laughs> I'll see what I can do. <laughs> Rock goes for like a, a double yeah. high five with her. Like, ah! <laughs> Stex, 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 Stex. Uh, I gotta avenge. Uh, this is the guy who beat Vixen, so. I've got a strategy. We'll see how it goes. She heads out. Okay. Wright starts heading out onto the field. He puts on his helmet, covering up his, his gray beard and everything. This fight is about to be really exciting, everybody! Gamblers, place your bets! Uh, as Dexter walks out, Vixen cheers her on, and uh, Monica just says, He's really slow. Use that to your advantage. Uh, yes, I certainly will! All right, the bet is in. Let me see. Perfect. They stand off from each other. Wright is much bigger than she is, but Stex is at the ready. Oh wait, uh, before we begin, says Stexa, uh, can we have the barriers? Is that okay? Can, uh, the barriers okay? <laughs> I'm assuming you say you don't want, but no, no, I want the barriers if that's all right. I accept. Yes! I mean, yeah! Sounds great. Well, this is only the second match that the barriers will be put up! This is so exciting! It seems that Stexa wishes to out-brawl right! The barriers start rising around the stage. It's time for the match to begin. In three, two, one! Stexa is much faster than Wright is. So she goes in first, and the first thing that she does is she starts shooting webs at him. <laughs> web after web after web. Wright is able to deflect a few of them, but for the most part, he's just walking towards her and just letting the webs hit his armor. He doesn't seem to care. She's firing, firing, firing. And then eventually he starts picking up speed. He starts running at her with surprising speed. Um, and he swings in with his blade. <sighs> she narrowly dodges, you know? She's ducking, dodging, ducking, dodging. And he's able to uh, gain much more speed than his size would imply, but she's still outmaneuvering him. Uh, can't really do anything. At one point, she webs up her hand, punches his helmet. Ow! That and it doesn't even like leave a dent or anything. Shoot! All right, Plan B. She she like brushes the back of her head. Wings sprout from the back of her head, and she flies up to the top of the arena, up to where the ceiling is that the barriers put up. He just looks up at her. Is this your plan? To stay up there the whole time? Uh, not necessarily. I planned for this! He grabs his sword, swings it up through the air, and like a wave of Shinsu flies towards her. She starts zipping around, dodging the attacks. 
trying to think of why she wanted the barriers. She could fly around even without them. Hmm. Climbing advantage, swinging advantage. Sorry, you're really low. You're really quiet, Hannah. Climbing advantage, swinging advantage. Yeah, there's gotta be something. Tire him out. Trap his feet. Knock him out. As you say that, uh, she's she's up near the top and she's dodging the uh, the slashes that are heading towards her. <sighs> she kind of exhales and grabs her wrist for a minute and kind of clenches her fist. <sighs> and she looks back down at him. <clears throat> and she starts firing webs at him from above. That won't work. And a few of them do hit him, but he doesn't seem to care. He just continues swinging his blade and letting the wind or the Shinsu ripple towards her. But she just continues to fly around near the top of the ceiling. She's always kind of staying in the middle. Firing the web, firing the web. She has another hand up at the ceiling. Firing the web, she's kind of flying around. And uh, he's letting all the webs take him, and it's it's definitely slowing him down. But this is a very long fight. It, it's to the point where the crowd starts booing. Boo, this is so boring! And then Vixen says, D Shut up! And the fight continues. Um, they continue fighting, continue fighting. But Stexa is just firing web after web after web. And eventually she tries to fire one, and it's like a little... <laughs> Just kind of falls off. <sighs> Shoot, and then she looks down. It's over! And he swings with much more ferocity than before. And it hits her out of the air. And like her head hits the ceiling for a minute. And then she starts like falling. The wings are kind of like, <laughs> like flipping in and out. That's, you put up a good match. And then as she falls, she suddenly looks like she's grabbing something. So she's falling as she's grabbing something, and then right <laughs> flies up into the air. The force from his own blow that sent her downward, spiraling him up into the air. And suddenly his sword falls out of his hand and he's like in the middle of the arena, <clears throat> all webbed up. He's looking up and you see that there are webs connected to the ceiling that she used to tie him up there. <sighs> and she falls to the ground. <sighs> uh, uh, does, does, this mean I, does this mean I win or what, what's, what's the plan? Well, we'll have to ask our judges. And then Mila says, he has three minutes to break the hold. Uh, you heard that? You have three minutes. That's way more than I was hoping for. He's like struggling. He has, he has his hands, but it's really hard for him to, to reach, you know, where, where she had put it on top of his head. And he's trying to undo his helmet, but he's not able to do it. One minute goes by. He's like swinging back and forth, trying to, Use the momentum to his own advantage. Two minutes go by, and in this final minute, he tries to use his weight. He's trying to, like, use enough force to fall back to the ground. And for a minute, a few webs break loose. But the strange thing is, a lot of the webs near the top are, like, transparent. You can't even see them. Um, they start to break. Five, four, three, two, one! The winner is Stexa from Team Stexa! And then right as they say that, he falls and hits the ground. Really, really hard. That was way too close. That, hey, but good fight. That was a great fight. And he gets up and takes off his helmet, finally able to reach. <sighs> he shakes her hand. You are quite the strategist, young lady. Well done. And he heads back to his brothers. <sighs> oh, and mother. And she grabs the crown and the wings are kind of... I may have damaged this thing. I'll have to have Monica look at that. And then she looks up at the gambling booth as the barriers come down. And she waves to you, Brack. Like, holds Brack's up her arm. Like... <laughs> <laughs> awesome. And she heads back. And she heads back to Team Recalls. But after her, she, she high-fives her team, she heads back to Team Recall. Uh, she looks at you guys. I didn't want Brack's loss to be in vain, you know? Well, you made it. You took good advantage of it. Congratulations on making it to the finals. Thanks. Can't believe I, of all people, am a finalist. It's kind of crazy. You don't sell yourself short. I know no. you believe in yourself just as much as I believe in you. Uh, thanks, Wu. Appreciate that. And then uh, Monica just turns around. Good job. And then she turns back. <sighs> thanks. And then Wu, like, nudges the X on the shoulder. Good job. 
uh, yeah, because we're teammates. Right, but like, you gotta, you gotta, then now's your chance. You won the game. That's what you said. Shh, 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 shh. Not so loud, okay? All right, fine. As long as you ask her to the dance after this is all said. Yeah, I, I will, I will, I will. She's probably gonna say no anyway. We'll probably just go as a team, you know? It's fine. Here. Hmm? If I win my match, I promise you this. She'll say yes. How does that make any sense, Woo? Just trust me, okay? Uh, I know what I'm talking about. Your logic makes no sense, but okay, fine, fine, I don't fine. have logic for this. It's hard. It's hard, Stex. It's about heart. <sighs> All right. Deal. Fine. Why not? Okay. The tallies are now being calculated for the gamblers. This will just take me like 30 seconds. Uh, Leaf appears to be very happy for her for her old teammate as she's congratulating her. Um, Stexa also walks over to you, Eden. Hey, uh, I wanted to apologize for yesterday. Don't worry about it. Okay. I, I, I know I kind of pushed you, so. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Okay. Good job. Thanks. I'm surprised it went that well, to be honest. Then she, uh... Oh, do you want to say something else? Nah, that's fine. Okay, okay. Uh... There you go. Brock, that is your tally. Perfect. All right. It is time for our next match. We only have three before the end of Battle Gamble. Who do you think the next match is going to be? Who does the crowd think it'll be? What does the crowd want it to be? All of these questions, all of these answers, we will find out right now. Because the next match is between Team Recall and Team Strive. Woo versus Jerry's. It's about goddamn time. And you see Woo jump from where he is in the stands straight onto the stage. Before you go, like Leaf says, you got this. Who just nods as he leaps. Okay. And you will also notice that Mizar is already out. Ah, okay, okay. And he's Mizar. been there. He's been there this whole time. Oh, okay, sure, sure. Is he like on your shoulder or like floating there? Yep. Okay. He is on my shoulder. Perfect. Jerry's walks up onto the platform after the. He takes, it, he takes a little, you know, a thing float. He's not nearly as stylish as you. He lets a little thing float him over there. He lands on the stadium. Cute monkey. Wow. Way to take the energy out of it, Jerry's. Why are you calling anything I got to do with me cute? He is kind of cute, though. <laughs> Don't let it go to your head. Somehow I knew that it would be you and I. Look. I might have wanted to approach you for the wrong reasons. But after talking to you, I learned a lot. And even if you beat me here, I promise you, you'll learn a few things too. He smiles. I look forward to it. It is time for the battle to begin! I can feel the tension from here. It appears these two might have a bit of history. Keseki Wu versus Jerry's. Yeah, hey. Tokens out. Uh, oh. Mr. Robot. A request? If, if you don't mind coming down here. <laughs> Zoop! He zips down towards you. Uh, we have to hurry. The, uh, the matches are going over time. We have to make sure. And I whisper time. something in his ear, and I'm gonna. I'll, I'll send it to you. Oh, okay, okay. Absolutely. You ready, <sighs> Mr. Jerry's? I've been ready. Let's see how far you've come. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh, the bet has has the bet been placed? It has indeed. 
Perfect. All righty. Hardest one to battle. Hardest one. Okay. Pressure is on. The battle will begin in three, two, one. Roll initiative, bro. Initiative. That's the only thing I'm ever gonna do right in this whole <laughs> life. Okay. That nat twenty might be the only oh, thing I ever shit. do right in this whole life. Okay. I, it, it might actually be. I, I high rolled, but that's not. A, I didn't roll nat twenty, so this is all you, my friend. Wait, I'm, let me finish this message real quick. Oh yeah, sure. Alright, you got it. Let's go. Let me check it here. Uh, you said this to Oreo? Ah! Yeah. I got you, I got you. Alright. Sounds good. Alright. Uh, dude, I'm not on roll 20. That's so bad. Oh shoot, that's a little important. It's pretty important. Uh, In the gambling booth, Taki is yelling, You got this, bro! You can't hear it, Wu, but you know he's yelling it. You, you feel like you can hear it. Taki. So, in the current setup, this starting booth, is this a pillar or is it just flat ground? It's flat ground, a little circle, just to determine where you can start. Okay, there's no pillars in this in this Correct. setup. Okay. All right, Wu is going to use the first turn to set up body reinforcement. Okay. Um, and he's going to go about here, and as he backs up, he's going to use a bonus action with the machine gun. Aha! Go ahead and roll for your, uh, make that attack roll. How could we forget about the machine gun? Uh, am I rolling to hit, or am I rolling? Yeah, I'm rolling yeah, to hit. Rolling to okay, hit. so like the 16. Roll. Uh, 16, let me double check. That does hit. Okay, and then I do 1d4 plus wisdom? I think it's just plus or is one. It, it's just plus one, yeah, you're right, you're right, okay. you're right. And that is a three. Three total so three damage? One. No, oh, three, three plus one. one. All right. Yeah. So you back away and then doo -doo -doo -doo, the little observer fires out a few, uh, few bullets. And yep. uh, hitting and the armor, one of them is- I have body reinforcement up. Yes, yes. Okay. Perfect. Jerry's turn. At this point, he's just watching you, and he's slowly walking towards you, and he only draws one katana from its sheath. He's gonna walk right in the middle of the stage. As long as you play games with me, I'll play games with you. Mizaru. Alright, Mizaru just hops off of your shoulder. Okay, I'm we'll rolling for I'm rolling for the actual hit. Yep. Our wall so, he has to roll, right? Well You're trying yes. to blind him? He, he, yeah, yeah, he does have to roll, but I still have to like spend this. Right, of course. Okay. Time. Fair enough. We have seen no evil. That is a But I did I did successfully so Uh yeah, okay. Let me roll here. Oof, that's a failure, my friend. That is a fail. Mizaru jumps over and touches his eyeballs before he can react. Hops away. And Jerry just closes his eyes. I knew this trick was coming. Not like it stops you, does it? <laughs> we'll soon see. Is that your turn? Uh, I'm also going to hit him with another bonus action of the observer. machine gun. Alrighty, yeah. make that check. What the fuck is that? Oh, this is 17. Jesus. That hits. Let's see. That's a two. Plus one. Two, so three. plus one. All right. The bullets are hitting the armor. The occasional one will kind of crack through and hit him. And he'll, you know, he doesn't stop. He just keeps walking towards you. Are you going to move? Is it my turn fully? or? Well, that was your bonus action. So yeah, I'm done with my turn. 
Oh, um, my, my movement? No, I'm standing here. All right. Yeah. As he continues to walk towards you, he starts picking up into a jog, or like he starts running towards you, and as he runs, he pulls the second katana from its sheath. And he heads right towards you. He's gonna make an attack roll with disadvantage. He swings with his katana, but you're able to nimbly dodge. He swings again, and what would have been a, a, a devastating blow instead just grazes you. I'm gonna go ahead and roll for damage here. Five damage. All right. uh, go ahead and do the body reinforcement, obviously. Oh, I forgot about that. Okay. D thank you. Yep. <laughs> thank you. Okay. 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 We yo, we looking good right now. <laughs> okay. Okay. That man almost had me for a second. All right, we we chill. Oh, uh, I don't like this position though. And he didn't even ask me to put the walls up. I'm dis. I feel disrespected. Oh. Um, <laughs> You could have asked, you know, I mean... I didn't want that. I didn't want oh, that. Okay, okay. You know what, Jerry? There's so much we could do right now to have fun, but if you're not going to take out your last blade, I might as well double down. Wu goes for... a... heavy staff breaking strike. Heavy staff breaking strike. Let me double check. And he's aiming specifically for his right arm. The one with the okay, yes, gotcha. Yeah. So well, so the way that Jerry and it's a little strange, uh, but the way that Jerry fights with his two katanas is they're both on the same side. So he has his two right arms, um, or his two mm -hmm. left arms actually holding the katanas. I want. I don't want to go for any arm that's holding a, a blade currently. Oh, I want to okay, go, so you want to go for a resting arm. The yeah. front. We'll call it the front right arm. Okay. Yeah. Sounds good. Go ahead and make that roll. I'm rolling to hit, right? Yes. And then okay. Oh, whoops! I forgot to set these up. Oh. Well. Oh shit! That's a sixteen. Okay. 16 meet well it, it you you hit him so go ahead and roll for damage this is those things so i do one okay that is a two two damage Alrighty. is that adding your strength slash dex whichever one yeah oh no not that much. so two plus your dex so, or entire that would be a five adding my two. yes okay Sounds good. But I'm still specifically targeting the hand. Yeah, okay. Uh, the arm? Yeah, whatever. Okay. Any any part on that arm to make it less valuable. Understood. You, you strike it, bounce it back. You definitely indented his armor, did some damage, but it still looks in good condition. Uh, do you assume thrusting stance? Yes. Perfect. Is that your turn? Yes. All right. This is his... Second turn of blind, your last turn of body reinforcement. Okay. So at this point, he's going to just do the same thing he just did. Bring down both katanas. The first one with disadvantage is, that's a 21 with disadvantage. Let me go ahead and roll. Yeah. That, he, he, he low rolled though. Mm. Uh, that is, how much damage is that? Let me double check. Make sure I do this right. Uh, three damage from the first katana. 17? 17 total? 17 AC, like, to hit. Oh, that hits, yeah. Okay. Four more damage from the second strike. So you said... So seven total. Yep. Okay. That's bad. Uh, we're still in this position. Hey, Jerry's. He looks up at you, his eyes closed. I'm sorry for playing games with you. I'm done. Oh, by the was... way, did you, you... I'm so sorry, you could remove the, some of the damage with body reinforcement? 
Oh, I didn't do that. So uh, you can actually roll each yeah, time. Yeah, and and yeah, for every hit, right? Yep, yep. Yeah, I didn't do that for it. But like, he only hit me once, correct? He hit you twice. Uh, three damage okay. and four damage. Okay, so I'm rolling for each specific yep. hit to negate by. That's right. Uh, so the first one should be minus one damage. Okay. So the, okay. And the second one. Uh, should also be minus one damage. Okay, so just minus two from, so you took five damage. Yeah, exactly. All right, so then you say that, he doesn't say anything in response. Look, I've been holding back this whole term, it's time I stop playing games. And as he says that, Wu sits down and you see him grab at his boots. Uh -huh. And he takes one off and then he takes the other one off. And he gets up and he starts hopping around. And as he's hopping, he drops them. And you see two huge craters form next to him as the boots drop onto the ground. Sick, sick. He, he kind of like motions his head over, surprised by the sound. Let me give myself my boost real quick before I forget. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Give me that, give me that, give me that. Okay. All right, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. You might be a little too slow for me now, Jerry's. I hope you can keep up. Cloud Somersault. And I use that. That's my full action for the turn. Oh, right. The boots are my left. So I will rise 50 feet above Jerry's into the sky. Uh, yes, okay. You're just gonna soar into the air. He doesn't get an attack opportunity off on you. You just zoom, zoom upwards. Okay. Hm. I knew I would draw more than two, but so soon. He reaches up with his right hand and pulls out the long spear. Spear at the ready, two katanas in his other two hands. And then as soon as his turn ends, his eyes open up. The blind has been removed. I knew you were special after all. What do you do with that, though? I'm still faster than you. Your turn. Do I go for it? Yeah, I think I go for it, dude. Okay. No, actually, no, no, no. Now I'm gonna go for something new. Hold on. <laughs> okay, okay. I, I'm really trying to think if I spend this. No, because I get I get extra. Okay, yeah, yeah. I'm going for uh, Earth Shaker right here. Earth Shaker. Because oh. I get I get minus two off the TP after I've oh. already done Somersault. Yeah, I'm going I'm going Earth Shaker here. Yes, okay, sounds good. He has to make a strength saving throw. Yep. Let's do it. What, do you know the DC that he has to beat for that? I'm looking at it right now. So it says strength save. Every, it's a strength saving throw. And yeah, so your DC I believe is based off of. My wisdom. Yes, so. Uh, Eight but plus your just... proficiency plus wisdom. Uh, eight so what's plus wisdom my on? proficiency plus my wisdom. So it's yep. eight plus two plus four. Proficiency is three now, so it'd be. Oh, okay, 15. so there's eight plus three yeah, plus yeah, yeah. four. Yeah. Okay, so a fifteen he has to beat. He does not beat that, so he fails the saving throw. All right, well, take uh, take, uh, take this damage, bro. I'm so sorry to do this to you. Where am I... Go ahead and describe this to me as well. Wu descends from the skies as he is more nimble than he's ever been and he reinforces his staff with Shinsu and slams it at the ground right in front of Jerry's who has just like awakened his sight. Perfect. And that is an eight All plus, right. wait, wait, what is this? So it's just, it's just 2d10 without adding anything. It's 2d10, yeah, okay. So that's an eight for the first one. Yep. And for the second. 10? Did you say 10? <laughs> it's a 10. <laughs> 18 damage as the boom, the staff hits the stage and the stage just, just rocks Jerry's and the force from the Shinsu 
just smacks his body and he flies back, I'm gonna say, like 10 feet from the force of the attack. Off, so that's three. So I got three left here. And I got seven left here. I really wanted you to draw that last weapon, but if you're not gonna do it, you're not gonna do it. He looks at you. I can't tell if you're worthy of it yet. Really, all of this and I'm not worthy. He runs up to you, no longer blinded, <laughs> slices with both katanas and then stabs with his spear. That's it? Alright, yeah, let me check here. Okay. First one definitely misses, but the second one is a 16. Oh, that is, yeah. Okay, and then the third one uh, misses. Okay. So? Take damage. He strikes with the katana. You take three damage, but while he's close, he goes in for like another strike with both katanas. Uh, I need you to make a deck save. So currently on this next turn, after me removing the boots, I have advantage yes. on my deck saving throws. Yes, you certainly do. Let's see what we can get here. That is a 16. Uh, 16, okay. He goes in with this attack, but you are able to dodge most of it. Um, you, you take mi a minor amount of damage here. Four damage from this extra attack as he swings up. this is my attack. last turn of body reinforcement also. I might I, be wrong. I think it's gone already. Oh, okay. I have it marked as gone already. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So... Right. I'm good. I got everything up there. Your turn. Can I roll perception to see if he's anywhere near being killed or anything? Yeah, I would say I would say it would count as a bonus action. I'll take the whole bonus action. This is All his right. last turn of Mizaru as well, right? Last turn was. Um, or yeah. Last so he turn? was he was he wasn't blinded during that attack. Well, he already yeah, but he already he already overcame it regardless. Okay. He, okay, he, okay. When 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 he opened his eyes, yeah, yeah, I got it. I got it. I got it. I'll, I'll, take right I'll take the bonus action. I'll take the bonus. All right, go action. ahead and make a perception roll. Um, oh my god, that's the worst roll I've ever fucking had for this. Uh, total that is. Where's my perception? That's an eight total. Eight total. You can't really tell. He looks about the same. I mean, he obviously has some injuries and some wounds, but he's. Just as fast also, as he wasn't was he before. supposed to be prone? So he's at disadvantage one more turn after this, right? Oh, From the Earthshaker. Good call. Not yeah. prone. Uh, yes. So. Yes. I would say. Let, okay, just to make things easier, you have advantage um, against him. With your on the next attack. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so currently I am still in thrusting stance. Yep. So I will use... Actually, do I want to use this? I don't even know if I want to use the TP on this. Now I'm going to go for a basic attack. Basic attack? Let's I'll do go it. for a basic attack from where I am. All right. Uh, uh, that's a six. Does not hit. <laughs> no, oh. no, that was damage. Oh, I'm stupid. Oops. Roll. So roll twice for the attack roll. I didn't damage. even roll the attack roll. Uh, that's eight. For the first one. Alright. And uh 16 for the second one. Second one hits. Go ahead and roll for damage. That's a four. Okay, perfect. That's adding your uh, modifiers? No, no, no. Okay. If I add my modifiers, it is uh, plus dex. What's my dex right now? Plus three, so that's a seven. Perfect. You strike him. It stops him for a minute. He just turns back, continuing the fight. His weapon's fine. I get one TP back, by the way. Yes, you do. That's correct. Is it his turn? Is it? Are you done with your turn? Yeah, yeah. Your teammate 
or I should say your friend. She made me do this. I wish I didn't have to do it so soon. But it appears I have no choice. You did well. But it's time to end this fight. Roll perception again. We're waiting for this, Jerry. You have to apologize to me, brother. <laughs> wait, wait, my perception is high, too. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me scroll back up for a second. Perception, perception, perception. Plus six. That is a 24. 24. This is the second time you felt this feeling. <sighs> But as his last arm goes up yeah, to pull out first time when, against, he, when he was the, fighting Shion. Okay, uh, okay. As he goes to pull out the weapon, your heart skips a beat. There's just like this feeling as, as if... So, but now that you're paying particular attention, you almost feel like this would have made you more afraid. But it's being it, the fear is being suppressed. Oh, no, this is the time, bro. Perfect. This is the time. You want to just so as he pulls the weapon as i feel as i feel that tension and i yes. remember everything <laughs> that i asked specifically she on about last episode about the feeling that she had you just see a smile run across Wu's face to like more ecstatic than you've ever seen him in the longest time And while he does so, okay, sorry, go ahead. Wait, wait, no, 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 finish, 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 finish. Your perception check. You're realizing that not only is this fourth weapon seeming to unlock something, it's as if every time he draws a weapon, it's unlocking something. And that this one is almost completing that. Oh, this is the final key. <laughs> You're the strongest person I've ever fought. And that's saying a lot. When he Do pulls it. out the weapon, you also notice. And this was, it was so fast that no one had really picked up on this before. The weapon, like, seems to extend into a halberd. <sighs> and then he, as the weapon is pulled, the weapon is pulled and he stands there it's almost like time is frozen for a second but only a second passes by then when he opens his eyes they're like all white his eyes are like pure white at this moment you just see like the biggest grin on Wu's face and he he's still uh currently in oh what stance am i in dude thrusting. I'm no still i interesting I'm still thrusting, you're right, yeah, I'm still thrusting. All right. He goes in with all four attacks. Katana, Katana, Spear, Halberd. One after another. First one Hold up. is- Hold up. Yeah? Relax, relax. <laughs> I'm gonna What's need up? you to fall back. I'm using Urine's fan. All right, the fan has arrived. What do we, um, he's fine. Right? So, here, I, I, you want me to say, if you don't have it, I can send it to you. Uh, Five TP. TP. Oh, I yeah. Okay. I'll send it to you. All right. Um, put in the info chat. Perfect. All it's right. like the second thing down. Um. Yeah, I'm using that right now. I don't care. And it, it should proc for all of these hits too, realistically speaking. Or he should just be done if I land. Can I ask you to share access with me with that? For some oh reason, I can't. Why don't you have this? Well, it's a different document. Oh, I see. Yeah, it's different than. All right. Here, 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 here. Okay, okay. Do this one. Perfect. Thank you. All right. There it is. So I gotta. I gotta hit this, bro. All right. And you see, as, uh, as like, in the split second that this is happening, you see Wu, like, rub the scar that Wu gave him. It's, like, very that quick and very, him. like, 
that glue gave him. Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah, it's very like quick and very. If if you're paying attention to it, you would notice it. Sure. sure. Um, con save, right? So you gotta do con save, yeah. And I gotta do deck save. So he has a 15 here for the con save, which I think is exactly. That's exactly it. But I still have to make a deck save, right? And then if I fail, then I lose. On success of the con save, you may make you then make a deck save. But I'm gonna say that go ahead and still oh, make I the see, deck save. I see, go I ahead see. and still make the deck save. Um, it'll just be less effective. I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. All right, I'll make the deck save. See what happens. That is. What do I add to this? I add some bullshit. Dex. Just pure dex, raw dex. And if you're proficient in dexterity saving throws, you also add three for proficiency. Uh, I don't know if I am. I don't think I am. Yeah, it'd be I'm ne not. It'd be next okay. to your skills. Okay, still, it's a 17. 17? Okay. So describe this for me. So this would be a success, but not as successful as what you're saying, right? Yes. Correct. Okay. So as... Jerry's is attacking Wu, you see Wu pull out a fan from the board, the same fan that he tried to use against Wu and failed, and he waves it in front of the attacks that are being levied against him and deflects right. them back at Jerry's. Okay. What is your AC currently? Uh... Plus one Currently, it should be the it should just be plus one. Yeah, it should be so. It should be fourteen right now. All right. Okay. All the attacks are coming in. You whip the fan, and as quick as you were, you're able to deflect the katana strikes. However, the spear and the halberd manage to connect. Let me go ahead and roll here. Uh -huh. Seven damage from the spear, Jeez. and the halberd that is swung down deals 11 damage. Oh my god, you're not serious, bro. Okay. He finishes the attack, and then- well, what, about, what about the what about the, the reflected damage, though? You were able to block, but not reflect. What? Like partial, yeah. So, because you failed the initial con save, like if you had six, if if the con save had worked in your favor and then you had failed the deck save, you it would have been different. But he succeeded on the con save first. I see. Yeah. I see. Okay. All right. He strikes, and then you notice him <clears throat> stifle a cough, and his eyes are still white. <sighs> How much do I have? It's my turn, right? Yes. Bonus action is. This Kesiki style second wind. Let's see how much I can get. Plus wisdom. I heal for twelve. Yep, perfect. You just so calmly take a breath in, and you, you're able trash. to use the adrenaline to stave off some of the pain. I, I, I had to pull out a calculator for this dude. My math is trash. Alright, I got it. Um, and then for the full action... Actually, I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna say something to Jerry's right now. I'm not even gonna say it. I'm not even gonna do anything yet. Okay. Jerry's! He did admirably. As a matter of fact, if I had fought you a couple days ago, you would have beat me. But after talking to Brack and the rest of my teammates, I'm a different man. I'm done trying to simply combat my fears. My fear of domination, of loss, of being alone, a 
of inadequacy, of being a nobody. It's not enough to fight your fears. If I can't embrace them, if I can't overcome them, if I can't master them and redirect them, then I'll never truly be free. And then as he says this, Wu grabs his gourd and tosses it directly in front of Jerry's. And then you see him clasp his hands. Just because I summon monkeys doesn't mean I'm not an anima, Jerry's. And as he says that, you see the smoke appear around the gourd. And you see a giant mopey bame appear from the gourd. Oh, okay, yep. Perfect. You mother, and he stops. If I want, if you want me to be the king that you're raising me to be, then you'll listen to me too. I'm in charge. And as he summons that, he jumps into the air and you see the Mopey Bane just on the ground. So my my idea for this is this is going to cost yeah. the same animal roll. So I'm going to do that real real quick and yeah, see if see I... You... Let me see okay. Yeah, I need to do the animal handling roll and then I need to do... Yes. Um, here, I'm going to do that first. That's a 12 plus my animal handling yep, is just plus six. So here, I pass and then... I have to, um, my idea is I'm going to just spend SP and TP for every turn that it's on the field. Yeah, yeah, that, that checks out. Yeah. Perfect. Oh. So, perfect. You have the still, you still have the attack data for Moby Bame, right? I sure do. Let me pull it up. Uh, yeah. I, I got you. I got you, my friend. Uh, here we go. Okay. This is why I keep all my files for moments like this. Everyone watching, you you see the same creature, Damien, the same creature that almost ate Harris Velger all those years ago. You fought two of these on the second floor in your final test. Uh, okay. He's been keeping those in his gourd this whole time. And feeding Above the table, so my master put them in there and I had to fight them for my test. There's a couple left. I didn't oh no, he was gonna do this. How many animals does he have in there? He is an anima, Jung. That's a question for after the match. Excited watching this though. Let me send you a message, Wu. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So perfect. it ba basically I am going to operate based off of bonus action. So yeah, 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 it's the, yeah. Perfect. Let me go ahead and drag this here. So Jerry, I'm going to say is a bit away from you now. Is there's now a snake? Well, you're in the air. Um, yeah, and the he should the snake should be in between us at yep, this point. That's so. perfect. Got it. All right. The snake is just in front of Jerry's, and you can tell even Jerry's eyes are whited over, but you can tell he's not sure what to make of this. But it is his turn. Even if he tried to go past, the snake is gonna try to intercept him. He's gonna go for some attacks on the snake. Strike, strike, strike. The two katanas, the spear, his final weapon. He deals quite a bit of damage as the Mopey Bane stops most of its attacks. Blood flies from the Mopey Bane. Taking 25 damage. It's not dead, right? Nope, it's still holding on. It's hissing, it's, it's roaring at him, you know, all in one. 
Your turn. So, the Moby Beam will act separately from me as I do what I'm doing. Yep. Correct? Okay. Uh, I will use Cloud Somersault to charge Jerry's as a bonus action. Yep, okay. Go for it. Minus one. And then I will... I'm still in... Thrusting stance, right? I have never left thrusting stance. That's right, yeah. Yeah, let's do uh Relentless Pommel. Relentless Pommel. Alright. He has to make a deck save three times. Uh can you move to where you want to be on the map? Just so I yeah, know I got you. the angle. Okay. I got you. Uh, I'm gonna go like so I'm I'm descending from the air to like here, and yep. the multi beam should be like in concession. Yep. Uh, so he fails the first one. He succeeds on the second one, and he succeeds on the third. Okay, so I just run one d six, right? One d six plus uh, strength or dex. Okay, that is a six. Perfect. You strike him, but it's as if he didn't even feel the pain. He is full-on focus mode right now. I'm also in cycling stance. Yes, okay, good call. All right, the Mopey Bame is going to strike. It goes in, but Jerry blocks with its weapons, deflecting the blow. But it's putting pressure on him. Kind of moving over here a little bit. If Jerry's tries to back away, the creature will get a free attack. So instead, what Jerry's does, with all four weapons, he starts muttering something. Carwinen. Carwinen. Come to me. And with that fourth weapon that had been turned into a halberd, it starts switching around and expanding to an axe instead. He swings the axe and the spear into the Mopey Bame and with two katanas strikes towards you. Uh, What's up? I'm going to use my last five TP and use the, bat, the fan. fan again. All right. Yeah. Your TP has been expended. Dude, I'm a gambler at heart, man. <laughs> okay, okay. The con right. save, he fails the con save. Oh, thank God. Please means, succeed, bro. You must now make a deck save. You see, you see Wu as he's doing this, like, touch the scar that Glu gave him, dude? Yeah. And he's just like, have I learned nothing? <laughs> but he does it anyway. <laughs> of course, it's, this is Wu I'm talking about. I... That's an 18, dude. That's an 18. I don't know what Perfect. I have to add to that, but that has to work. That has to work. Okay. On a... Uh... Sorry, give me a sec. I'm just reading this. Yeah, that has to work. So, okay. Now, make one more. One final one. Another deck save? Yep. One more for me. That one was a 15 raw. Okay. You pull out the fan in that instant. Give me a moment here. He strikes into the Mopey Bame. And the Mopey Bame kind of screams. And collapses onto the ground. Make these rolls here. As the Mopey Bane classes, you actually see Wu acknowledge its presence and thank it for its help. Beautiful. Okay. As the Mopey Bane is struck down, this time, anticipating the katanas, you deflect the attacks. He strikes you, but he doesn't strike you. The slashes all of a sudden appear on him instead. Slash, slash. Blood flies. <sighs> but he's still standing. His hands are shaking, his arms are shaking. <clears throat> he looks up at you, his eyes glossed over. <clears throat> his teeth grit, just purely, not in anger, but in determination. You're so much more powerful than I even gave you credit for. 
But I don't have much energy left. It's time that you fall. And then on my turn, I will use the last of my SP for... Mizuru has been out this whole time, by the way. He has not left my side. I'm just going to use another blind here okay. as my bonus. And uh... then... He's struggling. The blind happens, but it says you can't tell how much of a difference it actually makes with his eyes lost over. But you assume that it did. Don't make care. Sense in some Don't way. care. Okay, and then full out. I'm going for a basic attack. All right. Wait. 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 Um. The 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 blind is is a full action. Oh, it is a full attack. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. I forgot that I already. Okay. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Okay. I'm chilling. I will okay. just. Use I have I have nothing <laughs> I can't do anything. You just gonna end your turn? Yeah, set my turn there. <sighs> He's really struggling, it seems. <clears throat> Color went on one last time. Partial expenditure. I need you to make a deck save. Yes. Oh my god. My shades don't help me here. That's a... Uh, 16? Please? He swings one last time with the axe, which turns back into just like a hilt. The weapon just disappears. You take half damage, you take five damage. If he wasn't blinded, you feel like it could have been a lot more deadly. Shit. There's also hesitation in his strike as his whole body is shaking. <laughs> he coughs up blood. Your turn. Wu grabs his shoulder. This might have been the most fun I've ever had. And then he goes for another basic strike into his abdomen. Yep. You have advantage? Oh, that was a five, so... Roll again? <laughs> Roll again. <laughs> And that was a fucking one. Okay. Uh, With advantage, you you miss. I'll take the five. I'll take the five. <laughs> you swing and he sidesteps the blow. The force flying past him. And then he drops all other weapons except for one single katana, which he grabs with all four of his arms and swings down. He misses. That was his second turn of blind. Your turn. I'm gonna go for another basic. Pocket head that hits. That's an 18 raw. Roll damage. Oh, what is my basic kick? This one D eight. Okay. That's a five. How would you like to finish him off? Uh I would just like to look in his eyes and be like thank you for giving it your all and then I'm gonna side swipe him in the face and knock him out he just falls onto his side and that deadly aura you felt about him just dissipates And then Wu just puts his hand up in the air. The winner is Ke Oh, the winner is Lopobia Wu from Team Recall. Woo! And the whole crowd goes absolutely bonkers, crazy, crazy, crazy. Woo! 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 woo. And you see, like, a tear come out of Wu's eye just because, like, he feels worthy for one of the first times in his life. You also Bravo, notice that as your arm Bravo. is in the air, as your arm is in the air, you look and you notice, like, a cut that seems to have just appeared, as if, even as he fell, he tried to, he tried with his, with all his might. Just a small little cut in your arm. Go ahead, Damien. Uh, I'm just saying, you know, bravo, Wu. Bravo. As I give him the a clap. Many claps. Thank you. 
and then I take, I, I pop out the potion that I had prepared before the fight and drink it. Okay. Get from this. <laughs> I, would, I would roll a two on the heal. Sorry? I rolled a two on the, the heal for the D. Two on the heal? All right. Either way, dude, the second win saved my ass. <laughs> yep. The second win saved my ass. It sure did. It, there's the a lot of things there. That, that there were too many good days. Yeah, yeah. Many. Absolutely. As you walk back to the team, Leaf runs up and gives you a big hug. You can tell she's been crying. What, you didn't think I would win? Of course I knew you'd win. It's not, it's not why. <laughs> And Wu's still Wu's actually crying like you've never seen this shit before and he's just like hugging her. He's like, oh, it was a lot of fun. Victor just got back from the infirmary. He's all bandaged up. He claps you on the shoulder. You did good. Never thought I'd hear that from you. You feeling okay? Yeah, I'm feeling great. This is all about you. This is your moment. Enjoy it. No, you're my friend now. I care. Hmm? What was I that? said I care about how you're doing, Victor. Aww. Stop deflecting. Talk about you. Thanks, man. I'm doing great. I'm just happy to see that you, uh, you come a long way. What, you thought I was trash before? Did I say that? Come on now, show some respect. I'm showing. And you then respect. as this is happening, I look at Jong and I just give him a thumbs up. Jong looks right back at you, gives you the same thumbs up. Okay. In the gambling booth, Stexa goes, "Yeah!" And uh, Taki goes, "Woohoo! I knew he could do it. I, I didn't doubt him even was for a second. Brack right, Brack. Brack is just nodding his head, smiling. He did it better. He <laughs> Outward. <laughs> Outwardly, inside his mind, he is having the meanest tantrum. But outside <laughs> his mind, he is just calm, nodding his head like, good job, Wu. In mind, you son of a bitch. All you had to do was take the fall. All you had to do was take the fall. <laughs> <laughs> this is the best way this could have happened. <laughs> Inside the gambling booth, uh, Vaughn just says, Hmm, he was far weaker than I expected. And then Bool says, You're an idiot. Boy, are you trash? Bool just says, If you truly think that, you're an idiot. That just shows you how far he's come. Points over at Wu. Jerry's one of the strongest regulars I've ever seen. And Vaughn just like, kind of scoffs. And uh, of course, Stexa and everybody inside the game of Booth appears to be happy. Even Maggie. Maggie for the first time is like actually clapping, like standing up and just giving like a standing ovation. Bravo, bravo! Ooh, this is making it even more exciting. Now, Woo, someone is leaning over. Someone's calling you. Woo! Hey! Huh? <gasps> inside of the, uh, in the stands, but not inside the regular area, Janice is waving at you. Oh damn! I thought it was over. <laughs> I really, I, I was. My heart skipped a bit. Bro. I was, I'm so disappointed. I'm, now. I'm so disappointed now. That means more than your heart. Great. I, I mean, Janice is great. At least she texted me back. At least she's not ghosting me, bro. Hey, Janice, what's up? That was an amazing fight. I just wanted to congratulate you. Thanks. How are you feeling? Fine, better knowing that Kusit's gonna be alright. I mean, Carmel! Carmel! <laughs> Carmel's gonna be alright. We all can right. all say the name. It's okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I guess it is kind of public now, isn't it? Yeah. 
Well, I guess you got a nice new story. Would you mind if I interviewed you after all this? I mean, maybe you don't feel like it, and I totally understand so, because even I don't no, really feel. Like I'm, it. I'm perfectly okay with it. It's just we're out of strawberry water, and it'd be great if you could hook us up with a new That's, supply. Yeah, one phone call away. I got you easy peasy. But I wanted to ask about one thing. Were they supposed to call you that? I'm done running away from things. I'm gonna embrace it. Nothing needs to scare me anymore. I'll start with my master. And everything will be dealt with when it's all said and done. But even if I don't, I finally found people that actually care about me. That believe in me and rely on me. And I rely on them. So her that's hand, enough. Her hand instinctively is like going towards you as if holding a mic, even though it's not. I, that's amazing. That's. I can't wait to talk. Just go rest up, okay? Actually, I feel pretty good. Can't wait to see the rest of these matches. She nods with a smile. Um, there's a bit of an announcement that both uh, Elias and uh, Jerry's are not fit to gamble at the moment. Uh, so both the gambler and vice gambler are out of commission. So instead, Wright takes the role, heads into the gambling booth, still picking at a few cobwebs that are stuck to his hair. <laughs> Sits down. Go ahead and tally this really quick. Eden, uh, you've been awfully quiet. Anything from you? She is trying not to cause a scene, but she is deathly terrified that her grandmother's fan was used twice in public. Nobody knows is... about that. Nobody knows about that. You shouldn't you be say that. Me. You say that, but I promise she's... you, I should have explained it better. It's not her fan. <laughs> That's the thing. It's just the origin point. You, you, we're good. We're good. But she's probably I'm still. I'm going off the body. information <laughs> I have. I'm probably feeling that way, but I now that I know that. I'll sure, that. sure. Go ahead, Eden. Well, she's still looking around very, very nervously and is trying to shrink away. Okay. We only have two more matches in this entire battle gamble. It's been quite the adventure. This is setting up our finalists, the strongest people here. Our next match is between Team Recall, once again, and Team Stexa. It's time for Jong versus Boris. The crowd starts cheering. Let's go! And it's like 50-50. Jong's got fans. Boris has got fans. Stexa is nervous. Everyone's everyone's excited slash nervous. Well, Jong, break his legs. Or is it... Wait. Break a leg. Uh, no, break his legs. Okay, break wait. A, or just, maybe break one of his legs. Just win. Yeah. It's like probably more appropriate. As I'm side-eyeing Team Stexa. Uh... <laughs> You okay, John? Yeah, I'm just uh happy to finally close the book on this. Well, if that's how you feel, at least win the match. I better get down there. Jong stands up and makes his way towards the arena. You got this, Jong. We believe in you. No pressure. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Chion stops you. Easy peasy. Just remember the crown game. Don't overestimate him, but don't underestimate him. Just give it all you have. Right? Chion, I... Never mind. It's nothing. You're right. Just focus on the crown game. And as he's walking away, he just says to himself under his breath, So I'll be over soon. One more fight, and I'm done. And then as he says that, 
a voice is heard in his head. And the voice just says, so that's it? And Jong stops where he was and he quickly turns around as if he heard the voice behind him. But no one's there. Damn ghost. And then he continues towards the arena. Boris is waiting there. The scar, the vein across his face, a bit bigger than it was before when you had seen him last. But other than that, he looks ready to fight, just staring at you, eyes following you as you walk onto the platform. And Team Recall is all there, and Bulwark is watching, everyone's watching, but Vixen kind of leans back to you, Eden. What do you think of this fight? Well, it's between somebody who wants to fight and somebody who doesn't. Somebody who... And then Leaf looks over. Huh? What do you mean by that? Exactly what I said. One of them wants to fight and one of them doesn't. Vixen just looks confused. Oh, don't worry, Boris, but Leaf just has like this look. Don't, what? Jong? And she looks back at the stadium. Leaf, what's wrong? Jong is. She looks back at Eden. Eden has just a very blank expression. He's giving up. No, he can't. Not here. Um, let me check the bet here. Does Brack say anything in the gambling room as, as Jong and Boris walk up? Good old Jong. I can always count on him to win a fight. All right, buddy. We betting big money on you. Totally oblivious. Just, just thinking about money. Let's go. <laughs> um, Boris is standing across from you, Jong. And Jong kind of like closes his eyes and he makes this expression that just kind of looks very like half hearted almost. <sighs> all right, Boris, let's just let's get this over with. All right. No reason to drag this out. It's big for the Boris. He just nods to you. He grips his uh, great sword tightly with one hand. And Jong slowly just reaches for his sword on his back, pulls it off of his back very slowly. And he just stands there. He's not even in any stance, really. He's just standing straight, holding a sword. It's time for the match to begin in three, two, one, begin. Roll initiative for me. Yes, sir. Ooh, ooh. 14. 14. Let me give you control of your team. Oh, yeah. Hold on. Let me where we at. Okay, okay. All righty. <laughs> well, well. Boris goes first. Um, Sounds like Boris is going first. <laughs> he sure is. So, all right. Let me show this here. Boris dashes in towards you. And with his extra range from his great sword, he swings out and just a huge slash is heading towards you. Huge slash of Shinsu. Let me read this here. That's gonna be 16. To hit. Uh wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh yeah, 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 That's going to be 11 damage, my friend. <laughs> as soon as he strikes you, blood spurts from your body. And I want to say, like, Jong, it looked like he was going to bring his sword up to try and block it, but, like, he just didn't react fast enough, and Boris cut him. Perfect. Your turn. <sighs> okay. All right, we're going to do... Um, 
We're just gonna do a regular, a regular old slash attack. Regular old slash attack. Alrighty. What we got? What we got? What we got? Uh, ooh, a ten. Ten. Alrighty. That misses. I feel like, yeah, I feel like that misses. Swings up, easily blocks with his great sword. And again, like when you see Zhang go in to do the slash, when he misses, like it looks like he loses his footing for a second before he, like, recomposes himself. Got you. Perfect. It's Boris's turn. He hesitates and just looks at you. What are you doing? I'm fighting. What are you doing? He swings in closer this time. Just slight hesitation from you, but you're still able to dodge. Duck the blow, but he swings by. And the huge force you feel just fly above you. The attack would have been devastating. Your turn. And then again on this turn, as Jean is composing himself to strike, that same similar voice rings in his head. And it just says, this isn't the end. Sean does the same look back towards like where he came from to get on the arena. You don't see anything. You get the, the feeling that this is not like Sponge. It's not like Signite. Focus. All right, we're going to do Song Hoon style cross slash. Go for it. So oh, that's, a, that's a save on my end, right? Yeah, you have to make a save. And then I think I pick like an amount. Well, yeah, make a save first. Well, how much are you spending? Uh, I'm gonna spend what's TB three. Wait, wait, wait. No, so so it's divided by two. So SB oh. two four six, right? Okay, okay. So we'll so do four. Four. Four? Right. four, four, four. Yeah, he passes. He passes. All right. So I think it's. Ha Oh, no, no, no. You, so you restore, not, you restore yeah, yeah. two TP, but he completely so just, yeah, dodges. Yeah, yep. yeah, yeah. And then I want to, like, again, very similar thing. When John goes to do the technique, it's a technique he's done before, and you've all seen him use it, but he just looks, it looks sloppy. It looks unfocused. The hell is wrong with you? I don't remember you talking this much. He's, he, like, he kinda, he's clashing and clashing. You're half the man you were when we fought last. The hell's going on? Oh, you shut up already. He swings his great sword, which you are able to dodge. He swings again, you dodge again, but each blow is getting like closer and closer and closer. Yeah, yeah. For a moment, it's like when whenever you hear fragments of that voice again, it's like you see like you just see the back of a head, this kid with blue hair. Your turn. All right, we're gonna go for. Oh wait, I clicked on the wrong sheet. My bad. Uh, we're gonna go for another cross slash. Uh, Alrighty, how much you spending? We'll do four again. Uh, let me check. That is Thirteen. So he actually fails. So go ahead and roll for damage. All uh, right. So that is. So we'll, it would be four to two. D6 plus strength? Yes, exactly. Yeah, okay, okay, gotcha. Okay. Three, and now let's add strength. That's gonna be nine damage. Alrighty. <laughs> Two slashes. Boris tanks the attack. Unfazed. And you notice that, like, even though Zhang did some damage on Boris, he looks to be the one that's a little bit more out of breath from that attack. All right. <sighs> Boris just grabs you by the gruff, the, the, the your collar. Fight me like you mean it. Releases what you. you. Talking about. He's gonna try to attack you. It lands. I'm gonna say it doesn't do quite as much. It's gonna deal. Um, let's see here. Okay, five damage as he hits you with the blunt end of his blade. <clears throat> Fight me now, or else. 
Or else I won't care about the rules. Fine by me. Just get it over with. He just looks completely confused by how you're acting. Team Recall. Brack, any angles on this? First Goro lost, and now it looks like Jong isn't fighting back. <sighs> just ain't my day. Just ain't my day. Uh, Jong, get through whatever you're getting through and beat him. It's boring for God's sake. <laughs> I got something too. I'm gonna say that Wu looks at what's happening and he gets up and starts walking away. Leaf doesn't stop you. She's too busy watching the fight. Even Leaf is kind of like grabbing your shoulder. No, 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 no. She just, Eden has permanently disappointed mom face right now. He told you something, didn't he? Yep. Yep. He said he'd keep training me. He's. He can't do this. He can't be. Looks like he's made up his mind. Victor walks up to the edge. What are you doing? You're embarrassing yourself, Jong! He just looks angry. Fight back! Shut up, you. <laughs> Done with all of this. <sighs> Jong just assumes, like, a very standard, like, holding the sword in front of him stance. Doesn't look like a particularly strong stance. Is it my whose turn is it? Yours. Okay. Just make sure. Uh I'm gonna do Blade style somersault. Okay, go for it. That's gonna be three. You know so not only I'm... not only yeah. do you miss the attack, but he's able to get a free attack off on you the moment your blade flies by, which misses. But still, you, you you land on the ground, it's like close. The blade slices right next to you. You roll over, you're able to pick yourself back up. Damn it. The voice in your head echoes. Yeah. And again, it, it echoes very similar like thoughts that it was before. It's telling Zhong yeah. not to quit. Don't give in. 